Hello? 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 Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Sorry for the delay. I had to load everything into OBS and it took forever. But we are here and the players were so patient with me. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you for putting this all together. No, thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for Shenanigans. No, of course, Yay. of course. So, actually, uh, do y'all want to, like, state your experience? Like, actually, introduce yourself to the audience, because clearly yeah, they have no idea who you are. And, like, state if you have any experience with D&D, &D, starting with Kunai, because you're at the top. So, I uh, state my real name and my my. Yeah, my yeah, introduce yourself as a Niji Liver, and then, like, I am experience. <laughs> Kunai Nakasato of Niji Sanji Ien. Konnichiwa. I am here with Aya, and I am learning d and I have played one very, very short campaign. I am basically a noob. Let's go. Yay! Yippee! Yeah. Yippee! Hello, I'm Victoria Brightshield. Never played d and before. I'm gonna put on my robe and my wizard hat. Yay! <gasps> wow! <laughs> your wizard hat! I, I wanna see which which VV fan art immediately, please, chat. Thank you. Um, Wilson? Hello, I am Yuki Wilson, uh, from Crisis. Uh, today I'm playing d and I've played my share fair amount of D&D before. Uh, I've played a lot with friends, I've hosted games before, I've been a player, so I'm not familiar with d and Happy to be here today. Thank you, thank you, Vanta. Uh, hi everybody. My name is Vanta Kurobringer. Of Niji Sound Gian's Eighth Wave Crisis. Uh, uh, I'm the ace, and uh, I, I've got no experience with DD. My only experience is probably playing Divinity Original Sin 2. Didn't you play Baldur's play. Gate? I played Baldur's Gate for about an hour. Okay, with fair. Me. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> I, think, I think Baldur's Gate does a pretty good job of blending video game and actual like DD isms. So I think it's. And it's close enough. If you've opened up the game, you, ha you already have like a little bit of experience. I think the only one who's true blind, blind, blind is Vivi, but it's okay. That's why I've arranged a game that is simple and fun for all, just re regardless of um, experience levels. Okay? Are y'all ready? Yay! I'm yeah! Ready. Yippee! Ready. Yippee! Yeah. Again, sorry for the delayed shot. Very sorry. I'm a DM, and DMing is hard, especially when your hands don't work. So. Are y'all ready? Let's get started then. So let me go ahead. Um, also, chat's volume okay? Volume's not, we don't sound uh, too crusty or nothing. Uh, I think the BGM is good. Okay. Mm. Sir! Sir, I want you guys to envision the following, okay? So... <clears throat> close our eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes. Oh, you, you can if you want. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. actually, no. Wait, don't close your eyes. I have a visual. I have a visual. <laughs> wait, wait. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> okay, I have a visual for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Oh my okay, my eyes are open. Oh, wow, yeah, whoopee. I'm in England. Actually, wow. apparently this is Germany. Apparently, oh. according to the source. Yay. Also, I know it's D&D. &D. Those are not cars. Those are just funny looking horses, I promise. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a warm spring evening. The sun is just starting to set, and the rolling motion of the carriage is so soothing that it threatens to put its passengers to sleep. Suddenly, you are jo you're all jolted awake. The carriage seems to have hit a rough patch. No, it's cobblestone. The vehicle shakes and bounces with each bump, jostling the passengers to alertness. They sit up, looking around. This is the village they're looking for. A distress letter went out a few days ago requesting for four brave adventurers to find a missing maiden from this village. Saving a maiden, saving a maiden in distress? That's the quintessential work of a hero. One by one, the passengers dismount, stretching their legs after a long ride. The first off the carriage is... Vanta's character. Uh, can you go ahead and introduce yourself and describe yourself a little bit? Uh, hello. My name is Radriar. I'm a high elf that's been with his people for a bit too long. The past 500 years or so, and I think it's time to finally go out and see the world and understand those outside of my clan. Very good. Excellent. Very, very good. Um, and so, uh, Ra Ra Radriar? Radriar? Radriar. Radriar. So Radriar goes ahead and you no know, dismounts and stretches, stretches his limbs, cracks his back, and that kind of thing. And then he's followed by uh, Wilson's character. Would you like to introduce yourself and describe yourself a little bit? Of course. Um, I am uh, Moray Karata. 
Um, I am a uh, human rogue uh, assassin who lives um, basically um, who goes uh, village by village doing jobs. Um, doesn't really bring much coin in his purse because traveling costs a lot to begin with and um, he, um, he tends to just enjoy being a, um, in my, uh, what do you call that? Um, migrating? Or just traveling around? A wanderer. Um, yeah, wanderer, just wandering around, doing a couple jobs, uh, mischievous by nature. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um, and then the next person to dismount from the carriage is Kunai's character. Would you like to uh, describe yourself and introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, my name is Wall Valor. I am a half elf life domain cleric. I am out on a quest, a personal quest, to purge the world of impurities and toxins released into the world, dirt, sky, and water, etc., by Big Potion. I have been raised by my human mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I have set out on my true purpose of purifying the world from the threat of big potion. Let's go. I, I also, I, uh, I am short, I am cute, I have white hair, etc. Let's go. Are you resting boobily? Very. <laughs> Good. I, I had to know, like, <laughs> big potion. <laughs> and then, um, a wild velour hops off the carriage and resting boobily. And then, last to leave is... Vivi, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Sig Heller Shield. Um, I am a traveling high elf wizard. Uh, I just left my home, but I want to loot all the things that are in the world. I hope that I get stuff for saving the maiden. And I don't trust anyone. I'm very paranoid. Nice. Sounds like your average yeah. American. Love to see it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. America. So, Amer hell yeah, hell yeah, America. Hell yeah, yeah. brother. Yeehaw, <laughs> indeed. Yeehaw, brother. Yeehaw. Okay, very good. So, our ensemble is now together. So, you've arrived in this town. The town you've arrived in is a small, quiet one. Most villages are usually bustling at this time of day, um, since the sun is beginning to set a little bit. Ignore the fact that the image is indeed broad daylight, couldn't find a sunset one. Um, mothers are crowding their children indoors for dinner, working for- Oh, pardon me. Uh, most villagers are- Most villages are bustling at this time of day. Mothers are typically seen corralling their children indoors for dinner, working folk wrapping up the sale, final sales for the day, etc. But oddly enough, there seems to be a distinct lack of activity here. The sun had only just set, yet the village were as still as if it were the dead of night. What would you like to do? I have an, an in-depth intuition that the water supply has been poisoned and that it is likely that everyone is dead in their houses. Would you like to investigate the water supply? I would most certainly like to investigate the sure. water supply. Go ahead what and roll, I roll, roll me investigation checks. You go on your left and you see how like, um, uh, it has the checks on the side. It has like, um, the big uh, long box and under one of them it says investigation. Just okay, click on the word that says investigation. Let me find investigation. Perfect. Oh. Oh, uh. It's not very good. <laughs> uh, so, so while uh. the Lord, you know, like just, I just, I imagine just leaps out of the, uh, leaps away from the party. Um, just goes, <laughs> like sniffing around for, for wa the water supply. This is, it just finds a singular puddle, sniffs it, and determines, yep, that's a puddle. <laughs> all right, I have all I need, and that's nothing. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna need somebody else. <laughs> I'm gonna need. I need a second opinion. What do you guys think is going on? Are we traveling Anything? together? Yeah, you're all traveling together. How long have we been traveling together? Um, you met up in the guild a few days ago because um, the guild works in a way that it's like you know, like uh, it's kind of like odd jobs. We oh, all choose to answer the same bulletin. So yeah, kind of like that, like mercenaries, but for odd jobs. So if like a couple what of days. are, what are we? Where are we traveling to? You're in a village. Is there a reason why we're in this village? Yes, you answered a call, uh, a distress signal, a distress letter, um, saying that a maiden has gone missing in this village, and now that you've arrived, it's kind of empty. Everyone's missing. Um, mm, can I, can I get 
Valvalor to uh, test out said uh, water. To lick the water? Yeah, lick the water and maybe collect a sample back for me. Yeah, you can, you, can have... tell, you, can talk to, you can talk to each other. Go for it. All right. Okay. Valvalor? So, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Um, mm. I think that this might be a really valuable uh, potion, so I think you should try and drink it. Some of the, uh, the water supply. This puddle? You know what? Yeah, this puddle. Yes. If for nothing, I will certainly figure out. If I don't know if this is poisoned without without testing it, if all I can't, all I know is that this is at least water. We have I to could figure out exactly. I could figure out what it is if I drink it. That's a good point. May yes. I? Yeah. DM, may I take Which... a may I take a slurp of the puddle? Of <laughs> course. Roll me, roll me a con save. <laughs> roll me a con save. <laughs> Wait, how do I do that? So at yes, the we're top, losing to water. <laughs> the if you actually lose to water, I will laugh at you so hard. So you go, <laughs> you go to the top of your sheet. It has like a box of just saves. You just click on the con the one that says Constitution. Uh, okay, let's let's uh, con con save. Mm. Uh, hmm. It should be is, in the is, character sheet towards the top. Spell? Oh, these are. Is there not a spell we could cast instead to see if there's a reaction? Do we have to drink it? Do we have oh, to ingest we have to the drink water? It. They made up their mind. Um, yeah, they have to drink it. <laughs> I can't find. Oh, yeah, I can't uh, find I, I, the don't worry, box. don't worry. I got you. Um, so you are well over. Um, so at the top of your screen, where it's set, where is it? Save, hmm. save, save, save. It just started Damn, for adventure. Just... Oh, it's it's okay. it's towards the top. Look at my, it's like look in, at my guild, it's to bruh. the it's to the left of your hit points, I'm which is thirty three. Oh, okay. Um, it's like it's the it's the box it? beneath proficiency bonus that says number three on it. It's that box. It says saving okay. throws. So roll me a Constitution saving throw. Ah, uh, I am still so lost. I'm sorry. I see saving throws in text, but it's not clickable. Why is? Oh yeah, clickable? no. Go above it. Go to the the circle that says like if you mouse over the words, it'll oh. turn red. Yeah. So which one am I clicking? A uh, constitution. It's it should be the third one. Oh dear God. <laughs> this is our cleric, bro. Perfect. Okay. Well, <laughs> Sheila, are um, you okay? Uh, so I. So, Waffler, how do you how do you how do you oh, sample how do you sample the the puddle? I put my lips in it, and I, and I, I drink it. Um, so, uh... This is puddle water, right? <laughs> it's literally a puddle. <laughs> yeah. So, There's what... probably, like, pig, pig poop, <laughs> horse poop, uh, fucking piss, puke. Yeah, there's, there's probably this big potion chemicals. And yeah. I had so much of that in my life. There's only one way to determine whether or not <laughs> there's know. chemicals or big potion in here. And so... While Valor bends down, it gives a nice little slurpy slurp. It does not taste good. They gag a little it's bit <clears throat> like that. And they feel the presence of a little funny little worm in their belly. So the good news... It's just Valor. like Baldur's Gate, but it's in your stomach instead. Uh. One friend acquired, and I'm this early in. Hey, how many... <laughs> we, we're, we're starting to... We're doing Tonight, pretty you're... good. You're just eating for two now. It's okay. I can't <laughs> the horse pregnant. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I I certainly know a uh, tonic that in my village that will remove my my new friend uh, later at a later date. I should be I should be okay, hopefully for the time being. Uh, so it seems like the water is just full of shit. Basically, saying there's there's nothing. It's fine. Okay. It's, it's, I roll. I, right. I um. Sorry for roleplay purposes. I roll my eyes, and I just kind of, <laughs> I kind of just take a couple steps forward, looking for an in. Like, mm. like you really wasted my fucking time. <laughs> I like to imagine that that Moray is like because their hood is pulled over their eyes, no one sees the eye roll because no one can see their face anyways. <laughs> they eye roll at literally no one. <laughs> All right, so. It's definitely not something to do with the water. I think that we should actually go start investigating some of these these mysteriously empty feeling houses. No, 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 no. What, what I want you to do right now, uh -huh. while the door, is I want you to put your thumb in your mouth and then take it out 
and then put your thumb in the air to feel the wind because surely the wind is evil too. We have to, if you're going to investigate the water, might as well investigate the air, and then we're gonna get a fucking tools and like investigate the soil too and see how fertile it is because there has to be something going on in this weird, weird ass fucking village. I, well, do you have a better idea, real. More? Yeah, what are you, what, what's your plan? That you wanna make so many jokes. Shut me, Scooby, you go that way. Me and, me and. Me and Rex, Radio, Radio, we're gonna go in, in. We're gonna go to the inn and investigate and ask people what's up. And wow. as you are, as as the party is arguing amongst themselves, um, you hear the sound of footsteps from around the corner. You turn around and eh, let me grab this very casual. Eh, eh. You turn the corner, and this oh elderly God. man is shuffling towards you. You hear all you hear are the sounds of his tiny footstep. And the light clack of his walking stick is the only thing that's making noise in this otherwise completely silent town. Bald. <laughs> what is up with you with bald people? <laughs> Even Ray. <Rachel. laughs> it's because can I, can it's because he lives for longer. Check him? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm suspicious. Can I, can I try to loot? Oh my god! He's, he's still alive. Around. You can't let him. He's still. He's right there. <laughs> oh, can I try to steal? Oh my god! Um, if you I like, was you... like. To... You... Um, d d DM, DM. <laughs> I have to ask, what is her alignment? Um, and none of our business. Uh... <laughs> um, I must know. Uh, okay, hold on. one at a time. Neutral? One at a time. Uh, I... Sieg, are you committing to co to uh, pickpocketing? Yes. Okay, so uh, roll me, uh, roll me a. Uh... Well, to be fair, you're in his cone of vision. He does see you. If you'd like to try oh. to pickpocket him, you're gonna roll with advantage with disadvantage. Um. Uh. You can if you want, though, because if you pull, it, it'd be funny if you could pull it off. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What, what happens if if she can't? Well, so the here's the plan. You guys are amateurs. What we have to do is steal the key to his house, and then we can grab stuff from inside his home, and then well, we'll mm. investigate that way. You know, maybe. I, your your approach is 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 too is too simple minded. Why don't we just kill him? <laughs> Why don't we just talk Wait, to hold him? On. <laughs> hold on, Radriar, Radriar, you're a paladin, aren't you? <laughs> what oath do you serve? I think we Our should talk God. to him. I think we should talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold, let, let, let's see, let's see, commit. Do you want, do you want to go for it? Well, are we still allowed to talk to him after I try to steal something from him? You can. You'll no. still be allowed to, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so, yes, um, I you're gonna to roll me a, um, roll me a sleight of hand. What, what? So, uh, how, oh, how whoa, hold right? on, your stats all over the place. Oh, I did not oh. check your sheet before. Yeah. I'm sorry, did I mess up? Your stats are a little bit funny. Um It's okay, can... I'll just I'll just negate it. I'll just give you four points back. Okay, that's fine. Uh roll me a sleight of hand check. Um it'll be under the skill check box on the left hand side of your sheet. Skill check. Oh, okay, I found it. Yeah, go ahead oh and gosh, click you're on so much it. Faster than me. Yeah. With that. And I click on it? Yes, yeah, so you just click on the word a sleight of hand and it'll roll for you. Okay. I rolled. I'm so scared. Oh, well, where is it? It doesn't say. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, oh, so I go. will I will give you back because uh, I think I, I my fault didn't check Vivi's sheet. The modifiers are all over the place. So they hmm. a actually rolled a 15. Um, actually, no, they rolled a 15 the wow. highest and a 9 at the lowest. Uh, okay, so you rolled a 9, basically. You rolled a 9 because I'm rolling with this advantage here. Um, <gasps> so he sees you approaching. And you, like, very openly try to reach into his pocket, but he just completely misinterprets it as a handshake. So he's like, oh, nice to meet you, young lady. And just grabs your hand and starts shaking it vigorously. <laughs> he has no idea. Oh. <laughs> Hello, young lady. People I see, hand. I, 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 hope you, I hope you had a, a, an easy trip over here. I see you got my letter. You, you and all your friends, yeah? I walk yeah. over. Of course. Yeah? I'm so glad to, that that we get to meet somebody in this this lonely village. We're actually wondering, uh, where is everybody? It's oddly quiet. Do you have any any idea where everyone has gone? The water's clean, right? It's 
clean, right? I'm not, I'm not asking for myself. I'm asking for other people, for a friend. Not me, though. Um, is the water clean here? You can't what trust what... Okay, I just want to say, big tinct... Like, for-profit big tincture would always... Like, all the reports come back that the water's clean, right? So, like, of, of course, like, the data you're going to find is that all of the water is clean. So he's going to think that the water is clean. You really have to check this stuff yourself. So I don't even trust what he says, what I'm saying. Well, but Don't you have a worm in your stomach? Yeah, but, like... <laughs> See, yeah, the, so the water too. isn't clean, basically. It's not. Yeah. It's not, but what, why, why is there the only one that's walking around? What if he's the one that killed everyone in the village? I mean, that is a possibility, but we don't know that yet. So as you're talking, like, don't mind you, he has not stopped shaking Sig's hand. He's still just, like, vigorously shaking your hand as y'all are talking amongst yourself. He's like, oh, uh, you must be the adventurer, so, uh, about the missing people. No, there's people in this village, absolutely, but... You see, it's not safe to be out when the sun is about to set. Uh, people have been going missing lately in a neighboring village, and recently, my own daughter um, has gone missing from this village, and it's no longer safe to be out this late at night. And so, I took the risk to come meet you out here so I can give you the briefings on your mission, if that's okay. All right. Okay. That's, Much that's appreciated. Great. Much obliged. I must any... ask, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Old Man, that I do not know the name of, of this fine village, um, have you guys seen any weird sightings around the village lately? Like, weird things happening, or weird noises, or scratch marks on trees, or anything wait, like wait, that? Wait, 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 before that, before that, what do we get for helping you find your daughter? Oh, Is he uh, not going to tell course. us all this in the briefing? Uh, of course, Sieg, of course, I mean, uh, actually, no, uh, sorry, DM Brain, he has no idea what your name is. Of course, young lady, of course, and he, he like, of course I'll pay <laughs> you properly. He opens your palm with a hand that he's still shaking. He opens your palm and puts a single piece of candy in it. Here you go, young lady. Uh -huh. Knock yourself out. I hope you like it. It's a village specialty. It's licorice. I hope you like it. As per, oh, as per any sure. strange happenings happening in this village, uh, we've heard reports of various noises in the night, like, scra like scratching noises, perhaps like footsteps around the village, but we can't tell if those are just wild animals or if there's a, some kind of nefarious force at work here. Now, my daughter, before she went missing, she did tell me that she was going to investigate these noises to prevent anyone from getting snatched away at night. Uh, however, she's gone missing for a few days and we, we can't find her. We fear that she may have fallen to whatever evil forces are out there. Do you want oh no, she's dead. Me? She's dead a thousand percent. A few days? Like three days? Oh no, she's dead. If she's not back, she's fucking gone. You better give up. Can I have her room? Tell him. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Well, we're going to do our best to find your lovely breathing daughter no worries i will protect her from the chemicals i am wondering if there is a if i am able um to perhaps inquire as to why you are not afraid to be out of and during the the dusk as it turns nighttime while while everyone else is so so afraid that they cower you think it is are you just simply that brave um, or roll perhaps, me are you evil? Uh, what's your passive perception? Actually, I can, I can check for you, Han. I have your sheet. Uh, uh, it's probably super good because perception? I'm so perceptive. Oh, where's your passive? It's I great. realize this <clears throat> is just an adventure of all paranoid people. It is! <laughs> <laughs> we are all crazy. Well, it's the handshaking that's given me a little bit like a, ooh, so what's up with, what's up with this guy? Maybe some kind of puppet or something some kind of he's just strange have a piece of licorice so, mm. so uh your your passive perceptions of 15 that's good enough um you can see like he's smiling at you and he's trying to be pleasant but you can see he's scared shitless he's taking a massive risk by even meeting uh. out here but he desperately wants to find his daughter so he's scared uh. like super duper scared but he's taking the risk to meet you out um uh, out um at dusk just for his daughter okay i trust him what an honorable man I i'm okay. just doing my best although dude. he is bold uh, why would you say that? My, I'll have you know that back in my day, my hair is long and beautiful. Listen, one day you're gonna end up bald just like me. Don't, don't, listen, being bald not that bad. Don't knock it till you try it. I still get bitches. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my. I yeah, I mean, hey, Rage Yard, I'm gonna be honest. Grandpa bitched you hard. I would not, I would never talk again if I were you. Damn. Holy. <laughs> I don't take opinions from the likes of humans. Yo. 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 What the fuck? I I am a I am a ha I'm half human myself and I won't take any of that on his behalf. Uh, I stand half? up. 
At least there's yeah. some good in you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I opt to mm. ignore, and I, I, I toward, turn towards the, the old man. Are we looking to set out tonight to look for your daughter uh, as the sun sets, or is this something we should do tomorrow in daylight? Well, you see, most of the ports of activity happen at night. We fear that during the day it'll be hard to find clues, but it's up to your discretion. But if you'd like to have a few clues, I, I do have some information mm. that may help you finding my daughter. Yes, please, please let us know. Um, so yeah, he... she left a note or something. She ditched. She didn't like you. Maybe she, she ran away with her boyfriend. Fuck you! you your didn't... mother doesn't love that you. you. Fuck the shit the fuck up, bitch. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, like as, he's, as he's talking, um, he gives you a piece of licorice to to hold you over until until he whips out this piece of paper. He pulls out a piece of paper from his pocket, and it's a um drawing of his daughter. Uh, where is it? Oop, oops. Uh, let me move to the side. Wow, they, they look really alike. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and so he pulls up this kind of like crumpled up poster of his daughter. She's been missing for a few days and the town artist had gotten to town um, drawing her so to help you uh, find her. Um, so she was last seen around her cottage the, a few days ago, but she's been long missing ever since. So her cottage may be a good place to start. Um, this... Um, I will need uh, to investigate, of course, um, since I am not a private detective at this point. Um, mm -hmm. I must ask him, how old is she? Oh, so she's 23. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. do you have the key to her house so that we can investigate? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Oh, of course, of course. He reaches into his pocket and he has like you know, a set of keys that are kind of jangling around. He kind of paws through them, he finds the right one, and passes it off to Seek. Okay, so um, so much. all I, right, let's go. Let's I, I, I go, I go near, I go near Sig, and I kind of cup, oh. I cup my hand like to whisper down her ear, and I just say, "Yeah, mm -hmm. we're stealing your shit. We're stealing." Yeah, it. yes, yeah, we're yes, of course. <laughs> can I roll perception check for hearing? <laughs> Actually, you, you, you can hear them. You're, I think you're close enough to hear. Actually, <laughs> if y'all are whispering, um, roll me stealth. I also oh, roll me stealth. I, 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 I do a slight little nod. Roll, roll you know. stealth. No, so no, this, this conversation's happening right in front of him, you guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, oh, yeah. if he, he can't hear shit, he's old. It's okay. Yeah. No, he, 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 <laughs> has, he has his hearing like aids. Fish. He has his hearing aids. Magic yeah. hearing aids? Yeah. He's got his magic hearing aids. He's got bitches in here. What if we steal here? his magic hearing aids? No, just roll, roll stealth already. Just roll. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Remember, she's God. <laughs> yeah, minus four. Yeah, that's- I'm, oh. giving, I'm giving her buffs because her character sheet is wrong, so I'm just giving her buffs. I'm just returning- I'm sorry! It's, I'm, just, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just flatlining all of your stats. They don't have any crazy modifiers, just have basic ones. Don't worry. I'm so, um, yeah, you're gonna have to roll disadvantage too because he's right there, so your highest roll is again just nine. Uh, Wilson, are you- are you whispering and whispering and scheming and plotting? Yeah, I am. Should okay, I roll well, stealth? Yeah, roll me stealth. stealth. He's Let's literally stealth. right there, you guys! <laughs> Okay, Ew. nice. Oh, shit. Okay. So, even with this advantage, you got heck? 19. So, and so, like, see, all he hears is see going, yes, like, yeah, like, agreeing to a plan. Although he can't hear what More said. And so, he just lets it slide. He hears nothing. So, uh, he does not suspect you doing anything weird. So, you have this key, and he does point you in the general direction of her cottage. Um, it's over, like, in the dark, like, at the far edge of the village. So, would you like to head there? Yes. Yeah. yeah cool. Sure. Let's go together. Okay. We're not stealing her stuff. She might still be alive. Let's. I it's think not that stealing. If How do she's I dead, lie? It's repurposing yeah. things. I think that we'll come it's back and take her stuff if she's dead. How about How about that? We'll We'll keep okay. it. We'll leave it here just in case. If there's she's still nothing alive. shiny. Sure. We'll just go. I we'll... hope there's nothing shiny. <laughs> we'll just give her back. How about this? How about this? We find something shiny. We take <laughs> it. We investigate. If we find her. We give it back to her. If she's dead, we just, you know, it would go to yeah. waste if no one you owns know, it. So we just keep it. Then the shiny things might slow you down, you know. And I don't, uh, I don't want anybody else seeing you pick that up. I don't know from the distance, you know, having something valuable on your person is that causes fights. I'm All I'm gonna saying. Give my piece of licorice to Valvator, Valvalor, and. She's going to be content and not notice the fact that I'm stuffing things inside my pockets. 
I am so happy with this licorice <laughs> that I've stopped focusing on any part of the conversation. She forgot I... about big. She got forgot about big potion for a second. <laughs> big, big, big tincture, big potion, big infusion, all gone. I am so in love with this candy that I don't notice as Sag mm. shovels things into her pockets. That is good to know. Yes. I love candy. Very and delicious. While this conversation is happening, what's uh, Rajuar doing? I, I am openly disapproving of my party's actions. Oh, judge I would him like hard. to threat. I would like to threaten them if that's okay. <laughs> what? <Just thinking laughs> about murder. We're we're taking we're taking loot from a human. I would like to threaten them if that's okay. I mean, <laughs> you can just verbally threaten them right now. Go for it. I'm right here, by the way. I'm a human. If you steal anything, I'll kill you. <laughs> Fine. Um, so like, be oh, it. Wait, oh, hold, hold on. Radriar, like I said, we are not stealing. We're bringing it to her. We're, we're going to take the valuables from her house. She's probably missing them very much, you know, because it's been a couple days. We take it. We investigate. We find her. Alive or not. You know, let's say she's alive. We give it back to her. You know? Mm -hmm. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Actions That's speak good. louder than words, though. Let's find our way to the cottage. We've Let's dallied long it. enough. Oh, okay. Did we find anything useful inside of the cottage that could that could give us a hint as to her her location? So, um, when the uh, when her father points out where her cottage is, you notice it's by a field. It's by like, it's kind of like um garden area. It must be the community garden of that town. And so everything mm. in this area smells like lavender, like roses, like flowers. Smells really, really nice, really girly, really pretty smells. Mm. And so, um. As you approach the cottage, um, the outside is small and quaint. It's kind of like a very cottage core lesbian vibes. And so it has like a tiny little gate in the front. Yes. It's surrounded by flowers. There's a few like cat bowls on the outside where she feeds the cats in the area. Um, and the door is locked, but you do have the key. Oh. Let's unlock the door and let's go inside and investigate. Yeah. I break yeah. the window and I get in because that's too easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so, like, as... Oh, also, so bare, yeah, I mean, you can just do it with your bare hands if you want to. Okay. I want to uh, throw a brick. Well, okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> go for it, go for it. Uh, Rajor, oh, how, how, are you, how are you entering this building? I hope normally. Uh, I will go through the front door. Thank you. Okay, But so, I will keep my guard up. In very case there are any assailants waiting around the corners. Very good, very good. And so while Valor and Rajar go ahead and enter through um, the front door like normal fucking people, and then um, Sieg and Moray, Sieg throws a brick and then the uh, and then goes through the window, and so does Moray afterwards. So, uh, god damn it. Anyways, you enter. You. Who knows, right? So. You enter the house. The house is small and homely. Um, uh, it's full of cute decorations and trinkets. The ceilings have all kinds of potted plants hanging from hooks from the ceiling. Um, there are bowls of food left outside for the back door for the neighborhood cats. It's a typical house for a woman of her age. Um, the walls are stone and the floors are made of worn out wood. They're scuffed and scratched from years of living. It's comfortable here. All the potted plants in her house leave the room smelling sweet. It's as if every fixture in this house smells faintly of flowers. So you're inside. What'd you like to do? Well, you find yourself in the kitchen when you walk in, of course. Hmm. It... Hmm. I need to go to the washroom, so I want to go in to the ladies' room. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, VB's go. Actually, come on. This time period doesn't have plumbing. You have to oh. go to the outhouse. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> back. I'm sorry. I take it back. I, think, I, I don't want to go it? anymore. You're just gonna hold it. <laughs> Is that <laughs> magic <laughs> to like do something? Maybe. If you, um, you know. You know. Yeah. What if? Oh. Oh, well, I'm and saying. What, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm just saying that I'm a cleric, you know? I'm just saying. Are you supposed to magic by peeling? <laughs> you know, I'm not saying well, that I, I'm i not going to okay. say that I can't do it. Well, well, Valora, I feel like my bladder is very full and I need it to be emptied. All right. So <laughs> basically, DM... Do yes. I have any spells that can that can teleport six feet away? Let me see your shit. Hold on, let me look at your spells. Oh my god! I don't have. Okay. Sounds so invasive. I don't believe. I don't believe any of these will. I don't think a whole person helps. I don't think guiding bolt helps. I don't think cure wounds helps. I don't think bless helps. I don't think 
Your five blue drink helps. None of these help, Kunai. Can I oh. cast? Can I cast <laughs> Guiding Bolt anyway? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, wait, wait, wait. How do I see what spells I have? Um, it's at the top of your uh your page on the right side. You see how it says Core, Bio, and Spells in the purple boxes. Mm -hmm. Click on Spells. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Yeah, I can't. I'm so sorry. I can't help you with your with your, your, your pee time. <laughs> I. Oh, <laughs> I like how Wobble, you... Wobbler almost cast Guiding Bolt out of confusion, <laughs> which is a, <laughs> a higher range beam of fucking sunlight that can destroy people. It's a fucking I laser. Was... Oh, I thought I was gonna guide her to the outhouse. Guiding Bolt hurts people, <laughs> Kuna. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am... They should have called uh... it Big Bolt. I ask her, how, how, like, what do you mean you don't want to go to the off house? Like, how do you normally do it? Like, what? Where do you go? Girls don't pee. Um, yeah. Why do you have to pee don't now? Pee. Well, I want to mark my spot here. <laughs> Your territory? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Th th just do it. Yeah, just do it then. Right. Go no balls, no balls. You technically um, could just pee. We, we, can, we, can, we can exit. No, I, I'll... I will look away. <laughs> no, you... you don't... I'll I pee don't... for her. <laughs> okay. Will it, will it relieve her bladder? Her? Yeah. <laughs> I'll pee for you. Why was all like that? You can, you can do whatever you want. Do you want to pee? Who wants to pee? Who's, who's peeing? Who's peeing? Where Wait, are what we? if we pee together? No, 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 no. You know what? I, I, let's... Let, I, I will go to the outhouse like a normal human elf. Okay. Uh, normal health, elf, elf, and we I are will not the protagonist. Yeah. I'll pee in the corner. Yeah, can I pee in the corner? Yes, we're still in the cottage. Yeah, we're in the cottage. So, so Sieg, like, <sighs> like after a brief discussion, thinking, and Waffler almost firing off a guiding bolt in a fucking building, um, Sieg does the smart thing, goes to the outhouse briefly. It's clean. It's a, it's a regular outhouse. Goes to the house, does does her business. Waffler, how are you peeing in the corner? I'm just gonna pop a squat. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, I pop a squat, and I, and, I and basically, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to go. I stare in the other corner. I cover my ears. I can't hear. <laughs> I'm blocking my nose somehow. I can't smell. I can't hear. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, like, I, like, I like to imagine that while this is happening, while, uh, while Rajiar <laughs> and, uh, Moray are pointed away, all you hear is this. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> All right. So basically, I can't go. I, I I had to do that as a cleansing spell. It's these outhouses are produced by companies that may or may not be in the nightshade, sour grass, and lightning moss business. Oh my god! They're part of Big Potion. They're part of Big. Yeah, exactly. All all connected to Big Potion. I cannot use outhouses. Uh -huh. Do you have a so. tinfoil hat? By any chance in your uh, in your inventory list, because you should put it on. I honestly would and could, and you know what? If <laughs> any sort of I don't know what would exist in this time period. Certainly not five G, but maybe even one G can hurt my brain. <laughs> you can't <laughs> hurt what's on. not there. You can't hurt what's not there. <laughs> the, 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 the magic senses is like penetrating my skin and giving me giving me curses. Uh, yeah, it's how, real. How is this my party? <laughs> so, <laughs> what was my luck? Um, I saw I saw there, two elves and I got excited. The, can I come back from the elf house? Yeah. Um, yes. Can I investigate the bedroom? Of course. Okay, great. As as like Wobbler is just like just kind of like finishing peeing and like Mori and Rage are just kind of like in shock that Wobbler actually the madman actually did it. Um, Sieg what enters back into the house and begins looking around in the bedroom. Let me scroll back up to my notes. Okay, so... Uh, I, 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 hmm. can, oh. I, can I follow Sieg to the bedroom? Of course! Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Sieg uh. and Rajar go to the bedroom, and it's a simple bedroom consisting of a bed, a closet, and a desk. There's nothing particularly strange about here. Again, the smell of flowers permeates the entire house just because of the location and, the, and um and the maiden's hobby. Her name's Ava, by the way. I never mentioned her name. Her name's Ava. Um, mm. Ava's house just permeates the smell of flowers, always. And even her room, flowers. And so, nothing of particular note, but you do see a closed journal on her desk. 
Mm. I was going to inquire if there was if you had a journal or a diary of some sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah there is one. Burn it, guys. Diary. Guys, burn it. It's really mean to like read other people's diaries. We can piss in the corner of their houses and break their windows. You were going to rob her house. <laughs> what? I never said I was going to. I said I was going to give it back to her if we find her. But reading her journal, that's too fucking far. Don't do it. I will kill you guys if you dare. I, will I won't be it. fuddled by your tricks, human. <laughs> Whoa. I dare you. Well, Come and try. Test me. At Moy? Ah, no, no, no. We, I think that the, well, this is... <laughs> this is a betrayal. Have, I, I need to read the diary. Tensions are high. I am wondering if there's any kind of compromise we can come to that that would make everyone happy without the casting of a firebolt in the, in the tiny cottage. That's funny. It could be the person who almost got him bolted indoors. <laughs> well, I didn't know it was gonna be bad. Now I and I, then I did and I did it. So okay. So can I slap more with my magic hand? <laughs> you want to slap use, me? You can use your regular hand. He can no. use your <laughs> You want to waste I, a spell I, slot for this? I look. I don't want my high elf hands to touch that of a human. So I need to have a magic hand. Oh, bro. Is there any bro. way that we can read one thinking. page? Of oh, the okay, book? Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we, can we? Can we read the last entry at least to maybe see where she went off to? Yeah. That oh, is a great actually, idea. That is the that is the smartest thing this party has done in almost an hour. <laughs> 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 I, that's like such a good idea because we're not reading her whole entire notebook, her whole journal, More Corata. We're not figuring out, you know, her her deepest, darkest secrets. We're just trying to get a hint to save her life. I think she would forgive us. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. I shit, though? I mean, also, can I borrow stuff, though? Do you think um, that, like, yeah, all the plants in here, don't you think some of them are probably edible? So I think we're going to get hungry on our adventure and trying to find her, right? So I think that we should, you know, take mm. some plants. You, so you literally have supply packs with, like, with weeks of food on you already. <laughs> how how, how, how have we gotten sidetracked with this stupidest shit in the entire <laughs> world? What is going on? We spent 20 minutes peeing, and now we're inquiring after edible plants. We're adventurers! <laughs> while the door, okay, while the the, door I, drank I some water, got pregnant the with last, a worm, Last in the corner. page. Beat, we read the last journal entry. Okay, the are, last are, one? are we all in agree the agreement last. that you want to read the last journal entry in this book? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. So... Oh my god. This, this part was a mistake. I, don't TPK, don't TPK, don't TPK. Okay. So, oh, you no. open up the journal. Um, it's a simple journal, bound with leather. It's been well worn. And it's like, you know how like when leather gets really smooth because you touch it too much and it kind of gets oily and like it loses its texture? This has that. It's mm. an old ass journal, has lots of entries. You flip, like you briefly flip through all of them. There's scribbles, there's drawings, there's uh, like uh, doodles of cats and plants and that kind of thing. And so, mm. uh, as, as you're flipping to the final page, this page sticks out to you. It says that she recently uh, snuck out um, she had plans to sneak out to investigate the neighboring village for any um, any strange goings on. Um, however, she found mm -hmm. nothing and decided to just explore the area more. She heard rumors of a um, kind of like a mysterious maze near the village where people have been going missing. According to locals, there's some kind of rumor that anyone who's able to complete this maze is granted one wish. It sounded like some kind of a local superstition. But so far, this is the only lead she's been able to find. She set out for this adventure a few days ago, and she has not returned. Mm. Uh, she's dead. Guys! No, she's a, she's a thousand percent dead, but I don't give a fuck. Um, what I was thinking about is, if, guys, if we do this maze, we get a wish! Come on! We have to do it do now. We believe, do we believe everything the journal is? The journal trustworthy inherently? Yeah, you can, you can kind of of what do we have to lose? Well, well, she did write it hoping that no one would read it, so I would assume she's writing the truth. True. However, she probably failed. She, she could be a victim, and perhaps she wrote this while under some sort of mind control. We don't or know. Or it was planned. It's the only lead we have to go on. Let's go. Mm. Okay, uh, let's yeah, go. I'm go I'm go yeah, we're going for the wish, though, right? Who cares about the girl anymore? I, Guys, I think that we should. What, why not both, Mori? I mean, if both? she's. If she's there and she's alive and isn't dead, sure, I guess. Uh, but you, you, I'm not carrying her. I don't care. Um, I 
Hmm. I think I think we should instead of talking about You're the village, talking about which we should. Weak to carry her, so. Shut up! You rely on magic, okay? Magic. You rely on stealth, little guy. I, I don't do. Know. I don't see the difference. Finesse. Finesse. A little, That's little what in I the shadows. On. How much damage do you do face instead to of, face? Instead of yapping about the girl, why don't we just talk about what wish we would have? Because I think we have to share one wish. Um, yeah. Good guys, question. Money. Money. Easy. <laughs> it's so easy, guys. Infinite How would you wish money for money? Wish. Infinite money? Uh, I would wish for a million platinum coins. Oh. Well, then that, you can't wish lot. for so many that the money is no longer worth of anything. I think I'm going to use my wish to make sure this girl gets home safe and that the dad is happy. Smile. Hopefully. Yeah. We could just do that. We don't need to waste a wish on that. Oh. But what if I she's dead? wish for godhood. Well, then she's dead. I, I, I don't know how else <laughs> to like, follow I up like with that. Mori is like money, and then Wobbler is like safety, and then Sig is like, I want to become a oh, god. god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just... Um, Wait, but, that's but pretty if good. You're, if you're a god, we can't be gods. We have to share this wish. <laughs> oh. You want to become the GM? Is that so? What if, like... I wish to I don't know, home. you just die along the way. Like, sorry, you didn't survive to the wish. As you guys are talking Me? amongst yourselves, you hear a, a, a soft scuttling noise coming from the kitchen. It. It's, it's going for the pee. I, pull I made out a my mistake. Dagger. Um, I... I volunteer uh, Radriar to go check out that <laughs> that interesting sound coming yeah, from the kitchen. Yeah, he likes to complain. He loves to complain. Send him. I agree. I oh, think no. that he's the most equipped and experienced in adventuring and should likely check it out. I am not experienced in adventuring. He is the <laughs> coolest and loves to check out scuttling noises. So he's going to... He, he wants to do that, right? He loves noises. He loves Only it. cool people look at noises. Well, Only yeah, yeah. I could cast Fireball, and so we don't have to worry. <laughs> burn the whole house down. <laughs> the whole house will go. The whole house will burn down. It's made out so, of wood, right? Right, Aya? It's made out of wood. Um, well, the walls are still in the flooring. Ah, like, okay. oh, this is awesome. Okay, okay. The flooring is wood. Walls are still in. Rage, are you actually going? I am going, yes. Okay, so... You turn the corner, you peek your head out of the bedroom and back into the kitchen. You see a little white cat. A little white cat pawing at the floor. It seems to be pawing at like some kind of like like at the rug. Almost as if there's something underneath it. It's meowing at you and asking to give it access. I look at Sieg and I say, you almost killed a fucking cat, you monster. What is wrong with you? <laughs> hmm. mm, Could have been an enemy. No regrets, yeah. I, <laughs> I would like to aid it. I will what ate it. Like okay, so uh um, transforming cats. So uh Rage you are you said I ate it, which was very funny for a second. <laughs> it was morally fucked up. Um but Rajar approaches the cat who's kind of meowing and then and then um kind of like has a very kind of like uppity look about it as if it's better than you, but it's telling you to do its work for for it. But like, you know, you do anyways. And as you're bending down to uh move the rug and uh, investigate underneath it, you see uh the name tag. It reads Shafid. And so, as you open up, uh, you throw off the rug, you see it's a hatch. Uh, would you like to open it? Mm. I want to punt the cat. Why? No, please don't punt the cat! You want to do what? I mean, if you want to, you can, but there may be consequences. Yeah, yeah. I think it's one of those human shifting cats. Do you want to... It's a human. Shifter. Okay, a do, human I think it's, do you, want to, do you want to kick the cat? So no, is there any way to check to see it. if it's a... Is there any way to check maybe if it's a if it's a shapeshifter without punching it? Can anyone do? Can, we, can, can anyone we not talk identify to animals? It? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, no. I... I think I can talk to them. Can I? I have I animal hands. Uh, do you have? Do you have? Uh, can you cast to speak with animals? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, there's a spell to speak with no, animals. No, I'm sorry. I'm lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm lying. I don't have that. Mm, I don't. Mm. You have animal handling. You said. Mm. Oh, I actually also don't have that. I completely lied. I'm so oh. bad with animals. Yeah, this is screwed. not good. Well, if what? it is something, I'm the most equipped to defend myself. I oh. will open the hatch. Okay. Oh, okay. So you open the hatch, you open the hatch, and you realize you've stumbled upon a hidden room, a basement of sorts. So ah. this room is her headquarters. As you as of course you you climb down a few steps. It's not that big of a room, it's maybe like eh, like an eight by eight kind of a cube of a room. Um her desk is 
full of like this cluttered stuff. She's been researching this for weeks. She couldn't find anything. And so um, it looks like there are a few tools here. She has um, a, a, like a lock picking toolkit as well as a, um, a trap disarmament kit hidden um, in one of the uh, sitting on the desk. And then she also makes notes and these notes are openly displayed on the table. She's been trying to prevent a panic by investigating this case all by herself. She's also the most able body and likely the most physically and professionally qualified to handle this as she is indeed a fighter. And so oh. that's all I can pull from this room. And um, the cat is uh, kind of like pawing around looking for something and kind of crawls back into the kitchen. She doesn't seem to find what she wants in here. Can I roll for, for perception? Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, Rager, what was that? I said quite impressive for a human. It was my comment. I apologize, <gasps> Wavalor. Please continue. <laughs> Oh, no, I, uh, I am just looking around, trying to see if maybe I can find what this cat might be looking for with my I impeccable perception skills. Oh, yeah, should we just investigate the cat itself? Um, or maybe like... either the cat or the area around. Um, the area it's around- It's just there. The area around does not seem to have anything hidden, per se. It's pretty, mm. like, a pretty bare bones. Like, it's like a hidden room, so it's not a whole lot of secret stuff in here. It's not, like, any ha other further hatches. Just, like, you know, a desk like a light mm. and it's kind of just like a oh, okay. bare ass room with a chair yeah mm. what were you gonna say say see see oh uh, um i think you should perceive the cat because what if the cat wanted to trap us in here oh mm -hmm. maybe maybe i do want to perceive this 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 kitty cat yeah um this will be investigation because perception is more like your peripherals but oh. um uh, active okay. investigation like looking at this cat uh that's investigation check okay Okay, 13, oh. uh, you can tell, like, this cat appears to be just a plain old cat. And it looks like the cat is very familiar with this house. So it's a very high chance this cat is a frequent visitor. So per perhaps it is the owner's cat. Okay. It's not evil. Evil cat. Yeah. Okay. And she actually I seems to take the cat. Cat. Hmm. Uh, I pick up the cat. I hug it. The so cat annoying. loves that! The cat nuzzles into Moray, like, like purring and, like, you know, like, pawing at him. I rub ah. my cheek against the cat. <laughs> the cat's purring. He seems very, very happy. Uh, what'd you say, Bibi? I'm happy. Can we can we have Moray take the cat and so maybe the cat can sniff out its owner? Oh, that's smart. Yeah, can sure. Can do that? You can't... They, which, so wait, our okay. cats they can kind of do that. Yeah, they can kind of do that. Um, you have Not to as well like, as dogs, but... This cat's a little a little lazy. You're gonna have to convince her to do it for you. So uh roll me persuasion, Wilson. Yeah, you're you you, you want yeah, oh, actually who wants to convince the cat to, to help? Who's who's doing I, it? I I only have deception. I uh I have um 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 fuck. Uh, I, oh, oh that's meta gaming okay. belt, that's meta gaming belt. If you wanna do it, okay, you have to just roll with it. No, no no I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, it's okay, okay. Uh, per, it's persuasion. Persuasion, yes. You got this. You rolled high before. Oh! oh. Uh, the, the cat, cat is... The cat's a little... I'm feeling kind of lazy. She's kind of cuddling with you, but she's kind of like, Nyeh, don't want ya. Mm. Mm. Okay, I make an attempt you. to persuade. Uh, Rajar, you wanna make an attempt to persuade her? I would like to, yes. Go for it. Roll persuasion. Um, I believe yeah, I may uh, have missed the uh, yeah. directions earlier. No, no worries. So, open up your character sheet. You know, like, the big numbers on the left that have, like, you know, like, the, like, your strength, dexterity, that kind of thing? Um, that yes, really long vertical rectangle beneath, like, right mm -hmm. to the right of that, this acrobatics, animal handling. Uh, go ahead and mouse over to persuasion. It's towards, should be yes. towards the bottom. There it is. Oh, Jeez, nice! Damn. That's very high! That's nice. nice! Well, it's because you power wow. and charisma. And so, um, that's a 19. We'll take mm. it. And so, the cat is convinced. The cat is thoroughly convinced. And actually... Quite likes uh, Rage Yard fairways more than uh, Mora and wants to be held by Rage Yard now. So she's like pawing I, over I wants kill, to be I held. I kill Rage Yard. I pull out my sword. I kill Rage Yard. I stun him in the heart. I ah, Mora. There is no need to be jealous. It is simply the charms I have as a high elf. And so, like, as as uh -huh. as Rage Yard is speaking, like, uh, uh, Shafid, the cat, like, sits on his shoulder and kind of mimics his, like, kind of, like, haughty, kind of, like, chin up kind of attitude, like, mm hmm, like that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, wait. That's actually so adorable. I put my hand on Morde's shoulder and say, eh, it's it's probably just because you're like uh you're you're uh you're just not as cool as Radriar, so don't take it personally or anything. Uh I'm Shut sure up, warm you know... girl. <laughs> hey, 
I'm sure the worm would like you too, but sadly you can't have the worm either. <laughs> You're gonna have to go alone, buddy. Stick stick to drinking puddle water, okay? Fine. Uh, Touche. Must we I... pick her amongst ourselves? Maybe maybe it's time that we head out with the cat. I I wonder if perhaps we have found all the clues we need here. Uh if if we have enough information to set out and, and search for the the girl and the wish. Could we destroy the evidence of this house? <laughs> no! <laughs> to erase all evidence that we were ever here. I we think don't that... want to do that. We're not committing a crime. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, see, what if we if we burn this house down? What if it catches you know the other houses catch fire and then there's no reward when we get back? No, you know? it's a licorice. The, the reward gonna... is the wish. It has to be true. It okay. has to be true. I hope. That is, that, that is the only reason I'm going out. I think that I, in that case, I... are we as a party uh, and canonically ready to head out into into the, the next town to find the girl? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? ready? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Okay, Fine. okay. Fine. Very good. So, I keep the cat though. And then the cat, the cat's firmly plants on Rajiar. Firmly plants on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you hear that, L? <laughs> this is my perfect victory. <laughs> <laughs> however, however, as you're traveling, uh, so you you take off. It's at this point, it's pretty dark out. You're hearing mysterious noises around you as you travel to this maze. So. Um, in, in the journal entry, she did make a vague kind of like general direction as to where she believes the maze may be. And so you follow that direction. So the sun has indeed set. It's kind of dark out. You're hearing noises. You can't tell if it's like animals in the underbrush or anything. The cat on Rajar seems very tense and kind of worried. So she's kind of digging in her nails on his shoulder a little bit. It's kind of like looking around really uh, kind of skittishly. Also, you notice that Shafid really does not like Walvalor, uh, like does not like at all. And um, there's a high chance that she knows that you have a worm inside your belly and she just likes that. <laughs> she knows that you have I... a, a filthy tapeworm inside of you. <laughs> Why did you have to get pregnant with the worm? I she... Okay, the cat doesn't like like uh, like people who have a lot of friends. That's all that's all <laughs> I make out of that. All right, I'm not going to I'm not going to take any you know, friends no inside of you, maybe. Yeah, not... the extra best kind of friend, the one that that can't leave unless I decide <laughs> they do. Make Lavalor the beast in Al Gaib. <laughs> Will it make me the what? You're... you're the savior. You have the I... worm. I saved the worm. The worm is 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 really enjoying my breakfast right now. What if and... it grows inside of you? Yeah, I think that I have a. A wholesome, natural, 100% organic, not big potion tincture that will remove this <laughs> worm from my body uh, quickly and without problem later, and I can put it back in a puddle. What do you give? What if you give birth to cell? That would actually suck. An, or an awful <laughs> make a mouth. I don't like it. It's just it's just a regular tapeworm, right? I uh, it's not a. What if it's, it's not an sun? alien? I don't know. I can't confirm uh, well, nothing. My my organic tincture will save me. You will be fine. It's merely a debilitation that you contracted while trying to find the solution to your problems. And also, it's, I, to, it's to be I'm noted, gonna... anytime Rajar says anything, Shithi just like nods and like just like emotes a lot, like copies whatever he does. Like she's had taken a, an insane liking to him. Ah, uh, my I friend, Shithi. <laughs> So oh. in chat went W preg. That's just preg. That's just <laughs> pregnancy. <No. laughs> worm preg. I, I, I believe W preg stands for worm pregnancy. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> right. Sorry. Sorry, worm my ignorance. I'm, I'm ignorant. My apology. <laughs> sorry. Oh, it's God. okay. We all learn sometimes. And as uh, Rajar is this... speaking to God, the cat once again nods as he's speaking to God. Uh, <laughs> you're, uh, you're saying kunai? I forget. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> worm. <Wait. laughs> Okay, so uh, something something worm. Um, the party walks, following the crudely drawn uh, drawing. They kind of like passed it. Like they, well, I'm assuming y'all took the journal with you. Like you took a page out of it or something, like to use as like, I instructions. Ate it. Huh? I I folded it and I and I and I just I ate, ate it. it. 
Okay, well, just, go, just going off of like? memory at this point, but you vaguely mm. walk into, walk according to what you remember from the crudely drawn map in the journal. Um, now you can't, there's no way to check because it's currently passing through um, Moray's large intestine at the moment. But it takes you a couple of hours. It's only like, I think around two miles an hour or two miles away, but it takes you a few, four or five hours to find it just because you don't have a map thanks to a certain someone. And so... Mm. Don't you, need it. You occasionally uh. stop to rest your feet and hydrate, and as the moon rises higher in the sky, in the distance, you see what you believe to be a maze. You approach, keeping a keen eye on your surroundings. A large... <laughs> there it is! There, there it is! There it is! The wish! The wish, guys! We have it's to actually, there! We have to get to the end what of the maze first. What is the maze made out of? Um, I, I will tell you. Um, the large hedge maze is covered in a mysterious fog and darkness. It, it looms in the distance. As you approach, the sky seems to darken and dampen with the, the raunch aura of dark magic. The air feels heavier, the atmosphere itself seemingly bearing itself upon you. You approach the maze's entrance, and despite the intimidating, intimidating aura, you feel beckoned to enter. What would you like to do? I bet I big... I cast... Oh, oh go. sorry. Go. go on. Oh, I was just saying, um... It's really likely, considering the dark magic and damp atmosphere, and just dank uh, vibe that Big Potion has poured hundreds of hundreds of rancid flasks of oil, perhaps made of dream lily seeds, processed at high temperatures, um, into this area. This this is giving me bad juju. Um, I am not sure. I'm not sure if I want to proceed uh, into such a poisoned area uh, without any kinds of kind of cleansing or any kind of confirmation that this isn't this isn't all poisoned would you like to investigate at this point you're poisoned honestly i said it <laughs> i would like to investigate okay so uh roll me investigation all right very oh. good so um so you kind of like look around and using your your years of magical arcane um experience you do know that this hedge is made of some kind of like foliage some kind of plant life it seems to be somewhat sentient, as in it will, like, you know, move around and that kind of thing, but it's not, like, evil or nothing. Um, however, mm. there is a magical darkness encompassing this area, so it's gonna be very, very hard to see once you enter. But it's not, like, going to kill you. Not immediately, anyways. I have used my expertise on the matter to determine that it's actually safe, and I'm totally okay with this place. We're so set and ready to go. Before right. you go in, uh, can I set fire to the whole entire hedge maze. No! You, you you can you can attempt it if you'd like. Oh, you what is a powerful fire? Why? Why not? Because we need to complete the maze to get the wish. <laughs> you can just cheat. What do you mean? Just, we need to we need to go through the maze to there's get no the wish. There's no maze if there's if there's no more maze. If it just turns to a crisp, it doesn't what? We're good. But, but what if there is a requirement to, to, to do it, and if we don't do it correctly, there's no wish? It's getting Wait. pretty late. Oh my yeah. god. How do, you know if we, how do you know if completing the maze doesn't count as burning it down? I have a fucking yeah. idea. I have an idea. Who, who, is, who is the strongest here? Me. You have a lot of strain? Yeah. Who is the lightest person? The lightest? Well, not yeah. Ranger, because if you're a pal, you're in full, you're in a plate armor, you can be heavy. I see Pytus. I'm not sure if I'm that strong. I'm just really, really <laughs> confident for no reason. How, how strong actually are you? Um, let's. Yeah, how much strength Wait, do you have? have? It's my lowest stat. Sure. Okay, I think I might be the strongest potentially. I'm not sure though. Okay, I don't know who. I, I will assume that Sieg might be the the smallest, maybe little mage wizard I, thing. I well, I wanted to set fire to the place. <laughs> I have a better idea. Ra Radriar, oh, throw he her. He's he's strong. Pick he her up. Me? Pick uh, her up. Don't throw her and throw I'm her as Ohio. far as possible into the. No, because you'll complete the maze one shot. Wait, I think oh, that so we should let her. You burn believe the maze. that there's? Uh, I'm Can sorry. I burn it from the inside? No. Tucks me in. <laughs> what were you saying, not. Radriar? What were you saying, Radriar? I I'm curious as as to. How exactly Moray is coming to this conclusion? Because if you think burning might bypass it, meaning we won't properly complete the maze, wouldn't this also be a bypassing of the supposed rules that you believe Shut exist? Up. Shut up! Shut up Wait, with your logic. I don't care. Maybe Moray is really the maze owner. 
Oh and he gosh. just wants to be killed because I was gonna ruin his maze. I can That's make the maze! I've been traveling with you guys for days! I don't know if I can trust this morning guy. You could have just done a lot of I don't as know. You all are what? arguing. Uh, Shithbeed silently hops off of uh, Rajar's shoulder, sniffs around, and without without another meow or purr, quietly enters the maze. Oh. Eh. I'd like to follow the cat. Nature wins. Screw let's, it. Let's do things normally, can as I they were intended. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I cast two spells? What would, you like to, what would you like to cast? Do I have a spell that can, like, protect an animal? Um, I don't believe there's any I specific spells. Uh, do you have, a uh, Bless might work. Let me check. Uh, does protection from evil and good work? It could. Or oh. shield? Either one could work, yeah. Um, Are shielding the kitty? Can I cast shield and then cast firebolt onto the <gasps> maze? Uh, let me see. Let me double check. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah, so shield only works against a magic missile, uh, not a fireball or firebolts, whichever one you, I, I know you little arsonists are preparing. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so um, you could cast it, but will not do anything to stop the fire. Okay, how do we feel about a zombie cat? <laughs> um, um, I feel would, like the I. Uh, I like. It would I, not I, be have, so cute I have anymore. false life. I think Radriar should decide because uh, it's. I believe this. This is now Radriar's cat. I, I. I don't see why burning down the maze is necessary. I. I don't see the point. We could just do this? it normally. I. I run in. I t pick up the cat. I take the cat out. Please cast your fire bolt on the maze. And like, <laughs> so, I have right. a feeling. I have a feeling that there's going to be no little to no effect due no the amount of dark magic. So yeah. let's see what let's see. Okay, so <laughs> Let, while are we following that plan? So Wildflower would like to quickly rush inside the maze and grab it and grab the cat, right? Yeah. Okay, so Wildflower, you walk in and immediately you're afflicted with the blindness condition. You cannot see anything. Oh, oh I can't even do the oh. thing I wanted to do. <laughs> oh wait, this sucks. Like this must be made. But wait, <laughs> the cat, the cat. Wait. <laughs> So I'm blind. Okay, I, I've walked in the maze. I am blinded. But does it seem to everyone else that the cat is walking with with grand confidence? Can, uh, can we see confidence? them? Yeah. Um, you can see them, but only from very... Your, basically, your seeing range has been reduced to a couple of feet. Oh. So I think that we should follow this cat into this maze, actually, and not try to burn it down. I, I think that... Okay. Um, Radio, can throw me. Ask Dancing light. Where am you I throwing yeah, you? Like, if you like, you can. <laughs> Throw me far in the maze. I would like to help the party, even though they are sabotaging my plans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so um, sorry. I like to cast dancing light for everyone. Very mm. good. So, um, let's see. Very dancing good. So, nice. yeah, you cast dancing light. Hey, you're welcome. And it does help. It does help. Now it's still Oops. a bit dark. I'll be honest. <laughs> still a little bit dark. However, you can see. You can see now. So, are you all entering the maze? Yes. Uh, mm, yeah. Sure. Okay, so, mm. um, now. Shit. I just realized. I'm sorry. I have purify food and drink this entire time as a spell. <laughs> I don't need to have this worm in me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <you can't> <laughs> purify the <laughs> Wait, you have an extra friend. Are you going to name it? Are you going to name the tapeworm? Yeah. Are you going to name it? Does anyone yeah, remember when I asked Janice. if we could purify the water before she drank it? Does anyone I didn't... remember that? I, I believe I asked something if we had a spell of sorts. But I... that is okay. Oopsie, I didn't know. Oopsie. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So you're all entering the maze. I'll I'll I'll, I'll be you together at once. Yeah. Uh, I okay. want to be behind everyone. Now, what's your order? Who because it's the maze is a little narrow. It looks like you're gonna have to file in one at a time. So at the I will be in the front. Okay, so at the front is Rajar. I'm in the back. Okay, Sieg is at the very back. I'll be um, close to to Sieg. 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 Okay, so second. I'm second then. Okay, cool. And so as you walk in, so you walk in, you see kind of like Walvalor just kind of like kind of fumbling around looking for the cat. The cat's a little off to the side. You can't really see too well either. But as Sieg approaches with the dancing lights cantrip, it illuminates the path a little bit. And so now, 
As you enter the maze, mysteriously enough, um, you're surrounded by an all-encompassing darkness. However, the uh, the dancing lights kinship does indeed help. The foliage hmm. of the um, the maze, the hedge maze, closes behind you. You're officially locked in. So, allow oh. me uh, if you're this looking. This is why we should have set it on fire. Go ahead and make sure. Are you looking at uh, my uh, stream thingy on Discord? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my Jordan. god. Yeah, that's, okay. that's all we can see. So, this is oh. all I can see at the very moment. Um, where would you like to go? Um... <laughs> no, you can't. It's been go closed. Home. We must we press go on. Forward. We have to go forward. So, forward. is there any way that I Just can... Me. Cast... Um... Uh... Wait... Wait, no. It's beacon to purify hope the isn't, water. Isn't for light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Beacon of Hope's so a buff. Sad. It's a buffing spell. Do I have anything that can light the place up? I'm trying well, to... Well, you have dancing lights, and that's how you're able to see it all. Oh, okay. So she already did that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so there's nothing I, I should cast right now, because we're not, we're not in danger. So, and there's an, I don't have any bigger light, so uh, never mind. We're basically just super blind, and I... I volunteer Radriar as the the person in the front to determine our path. Okay. Okay, so where are you going, Radriar? Mm. We must press forward. Forward. Okay. You're moving. Ooh -ee. One second. You're moving forward. Okay. Mm. You hit a wall. Ah. Uh. May I look oh. to my right left or my right. right? Uh, you glance to the left and the right. To the right wall. The left, it seems to continue. Ah, then we will press on to the left. Okay. Oh my gosh. You keep pressing on to the left. You hit another wall. Uh, I would like to go left wait, again. No. Wait, 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 yes. wait, wait, wait. Before yes, we press on, uh, do we have any like I don't know pebbles or um? Um, you can probably no. scrounge up a rock or two on the floor. You can probably scrounge up a rock. You want to leave um, a path behind. Oh, line markers. Yes. Very ah. smart. Oh. Yeah. So you, you do look around. There's like, you know, some like, the floor is like a dirt, like patches of dirt and grass, but there are like little pebbles and like there's soft spots of dirt that could be marked. There's rocks you could be placing around. There's branches you can probably bend. Yeah. I propose that we mark our path. Of course. I like okay. that idea. So as, as, uh, so Sieg is in the back, right? So as you're turning around and like, as uh, Rajar is trying to navigate, um, Sieg is in the back bending branches, um, making footmarks on the uh, on the uh, dirt path, uh, leaving stones and that kind of thing. She's actively marking your path. Wow, this is... It's so funny. Can I just, like, say, like, Vivi, like, will be like, can I cast Firebolt? But then every so often, she'll have just, like, the smartest... A genuinely idea. smart moment? <laughs> we'll be like, whoa, yes, that's an awesome idea. Wow. <laughs> Read the last page of the notebook. Can we mark her path? God. <laughs> with VB, with VB, it's either like, "Hi, can I break the game?" or "Hi, can I actually do something the D the DM did not account for?" That's actually yeah. very smart. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Whoa. it's really good. It's good. It's really good. Go for it, VB. I encourage this. So, um, what else did you say, uh, Rajar? You got cut off. Well, I was saying I would like to go left again. Uh, left again. Um, it's a wall. Oh, I well left like as in like like his POV. Oh, yeah. oh like, okay, this down. way, this way, okay, down. Okay, yeah, you go yeah, down, down, and boom, another wall. Oh, so cool. Let's see. This is, uh, I just want to say this path. is so creative. Uh, I really like this. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank, ah, thank you. Thank this, you. Is, this is actually incredible. Um, <laughs> this is great. Is, is there a way to give a, <laughs> so that I don't have to keep saying right, left, left, right, forward, back? Uh, or should I, do I just have to keep doing that? Um, just keep doing that. I'll, like, I'll... There's a reason why you need to go slow, basically. I see. Mm. Okay. All right, then I I, I will go left. Okay. Very good. So you go straight left. You keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, and you. Uh, what is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, it's, it's just a handkerchief. It's just a handkerchief. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. See it this way. Imagine. Imagine you can't. Imagine you Lord. can't see at all. <laughs> the genuine fear was actually hilarious. <laughs> oh, 
fucking it mist could be a monster. I don't fucking. I don't know, man. I can't see in this fucking mist. <laughs> oh and so, no. as as no the party, <laughs> as the party approaches, like Mori almost has a heart attack as they witness behold a handkerchief on the floor. Um, what would you like to do with it? It's just sitting there. Oh, uh, can we can we have uh, can we have Shafid uh, smell it to get a, uh, a better idea of where of where the owner might be? Okay, be. of course. So um, Shafid, like, no, pounces up to uh, the handkerchief at your gesture and just goes. <coughs> Not the cough. That was just the DM. That was God coughing. And so um, <laughs> she perks up. She seems to recognize the scent. And uh, would you like to smell it yourself? Yeah. Why not? Oh. Okay, so you pass around the uh, the handkerchief. You take a, a little sniff. It smells distinctly of flowers. Oh. oh. This is this is probably just something that happens to be here. Maybe dropped by anybody. I think that there's a good chance that this has been here for years. I think well, that this well, is... Well, 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 well. I okay, I'm going to need you to peep chance. game and lock in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wizard, do your wizardly things and do your magic stuff. I, I, I yeah. Find a, mm. find a way. I don't do magic. You guys figure it out. I think we should keep the handkerchief and continue forward. Mm -hmm. I think that it's, yeah, I think forward is, is the path. Does anybody else want to lead by any chance uh, so that uh, Radriar doesn't have to always be... Uh, in the in the front risking their life or does is Radriar okay being up there well i am a, i am our party's tank so i, yeah. I think it's only right but All if right. someone would like to volunteer i will not i will not fret i'll do it oh are you sure more yeah he's gonna lead us astray he's a All heretic right. you're <laughs> Not so Shut much. up, man. I like to I... imagine that Sig just points... You don't believe in the same god as I do. Ooh! Yeah, you're right. I don't. I, like I believe to, in myself. I like to imagine that Sig just like, it's like gaffs, god points at Mori and goes, WITCH! <laughs> WITCH! So, Mori... There's no gods. There's, so, only big, um... there's only big potion. Anyway. <laughs> so, Mori is now leading the charge, followed by Rajar, um, Walvalor, and Sieg. So, uh, where would you like to move the party to next, Mori? And also, uh, who's like, who's pocketing the handkerchief, by the way? I guess, uh, I guess, uh, Rajar, since he's the was the one in front, maybe. And with the cat, probably, so closer yeah. to the cat. Okay. I will take it. Okay, so it's Rajar. Uh, you can't give it to Mori. Mori seems very frightened of it. Okay, where would you like yes. to go? It smells weird. Um, let's press on, uh, well, for my POV, it would be my right. Okay. They move smell. forward, move forward, move forward. And now you stop oh, here. You oh. come to a wall. Oh, no. Oh. Um, well, guys, do you like right or left better? It's 50-50. I'm, I'm feeling right. I'm feeling that right might is lucky. Right is right. Right is right. What what is right. the way you want to go, Mori? Yeah, but what if what if there's a hidden chest on the left though? Like we could be missing some items. All right, I think right is the is the correct direction. I think right. Okay. We should go. So you all agree to go right. So you We're go. Missing the legendary like sword of the heroes, but yeah, sure, let's miss it. <laughs> you immediately you immediately hit a wall. We uh turn left. Okay. You go left. Another wall. And then we turn. Whatever, right. we, go, we go that way. Okay, <laughs> and as you're walking, you hear like lots of like shuffling noises around you, but you can't identify what. No, no. It, it, it's it's probably on the right. Uh, it's it's is... probably going for a right. I say we, we I say we, we kind of press on to left and we, let's not, let's not run, but let's kind of fast pace it, you know? Okay, so now you're mm. fast pacing a little bit. You hit a wall and the only way to go is here. Uh, where are you going next? We're going to turn right. Okay. Yeah. Another wall. Another right. And then we turn right again. Oh. 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 You've, you've stumbled upon a brass key on the floor, just kind of sitting there by itself. Wow. You have to pick I, it up. Pick it I up. Pick, pick, it up, up pick, it up, pick it up and it up, look at it, it closely. You pick I, up the I, key and um, I, actually go ahead and roll me investigation on this key because as of right now, it looks kind of like a regular key. But let's see what you we can we can well, let's see what info you can draw out of it. Okay, thirteen. Um, it seems to, like, 
it does not seem particularly um like old or anything but it's it's, it's well aged and there's a faint hint of magical energy on it but it doesn't seem particularly dangerous or anything nothing sings out to you hmm. i toss it to uh to signa go what the beast <laughs> uh, would you like to investigate it? Come, come on, wizard. Tell me, pointy hat. What is it? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can I, can I? Can I? Can I roll a perception check? Is that how that? What works? house it, 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 does be, it go to? This Gryffindor. One, uh, this one would be investigation because perception's kind of like a Hufflepuff. A Hufflepuff. <laughs> I can see Hufflepuff. Yeah. I think he's Hufflepuff. Um, but yeah, see, this would be an investigation roll. Okay, I want to investigate the key. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and hit your investigation roll. And also, don't worry, I'll be I'll be recalculating it for you because I know your stats are a little bit funny. No work, I'm sorry. No worries, no worries. It's it's very easy math. Is it pop up? Did you roll? Hold on. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. A ten. Uh. Oh no, that's plus. Okay, then plus your thing back. That's okay. So. Four. I'd say, you can recognize that this key. Has, uh, the magical energy radiating from this key seems to be matching a magical energy you feel at another part of this maze. Uh, oh. Oh, I thought that we backtrack door. into the, the, the fork that we were first at when we first pick up the handkerchief and go that way and see if there's like a chest that we can find. Mm. Mm. Does that mean you're leading, Sieg, or? Yeah, sure, oh. go ahead. Is that, is that a suggestion? I am merely asking. If I if I'm the one that's marking our path, can I just quickly go back to the other? Yeah, uh, normally I don't allow for splitting path? parties, but I'll let the, I'll let you split the party right now, real quick, if you want to. If you want to go back by yourself. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to come with me? Yeah. I need to pee. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Uh, I know Parker's that I. Uh, here. <laughs> I, I recently peed. I just, I'm so hydrated from all the puddle water. I just really need to go. The, ta the tape is oh, making you actively, uh, make me want to pee a lot. It's, it's moving around it's a lot in, in there. It's in my kidneys. It's in my kidneys. I have Maybe to go. Maybe you swallowed the, the worm that makes you pee. Yeah, probably. Probably. Maybe it, that's what it's happened. in my bladder. I am going to be right back. Uh, continue acting without me for one minute. Okay, or so two as uh, so, um, Wobbler enters a strange like a uh, stasis where she just kind of squats. And just drops trow, starts peeing in, the, in that little corner. And so the rest oh. of you uh, backtrack as Wavalor is, you know, like, you let her have her, her privacy. You backtrack over here and you turn this corner. It is nothing! Oh. <laughs> uh, a dead end. What about yeah, the you're not leaving anymore. <laughs> what? Um, you lost that privilege. Minna, I can't sparkle! I can't sparkle! <laughs> no! no, no I, I killed Please. her! Sig, Sig, Sig! Sig, Sig! I get it, I get it, he's a human. But we we can't we can't waste our spells on meager existences such as them. Fine. I love her. Her Fine. immediate. I like, you know, I like I, the, I the would, most minor I, inconvenience she spends. She thinks of arson immediately. <laughs> you know, guys, I would whisper down insults at you, but with your fucking big ass ears, you probably hear me from the other side of this fucking maze. So I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, right, yeah. Wait, you know I don't want to hear that from you, more. Maybe if you weren't such a pussy, you'd finally get some bitches on your dick. <laughs> Human! <laughs> what the fuck? What the? Damn. Damn. What the? F Damn, are you okay? You, you okay, Moray? You okay? God herself I, is coming down I, from the heavens to ask if you're okay. I, I died. He killed me. <laughs> he, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> oh my. Uh, so, so God herself has descended from the heavens going, oh, and it's like pats Moray on the head before she goes back to heaven. Oh. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Uh, anyway, right, I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. Let, let's oh, turn Mori. back. Back. Yeah, let's go back to where. Uh, okay, so is. the party bond slightly damaged, but still together. You walk back to where um, a Wavalor is uh, still crouched in the corner. We're unsure if she's still pissing. Is she still pissing? I ha I am so done and ready to unstasis. For okay, my, cool. So, like, um, so suddenly, like, a, a magical force goes, <laughs> and she's able to regain control of her body. Her stasis is gone, and she's casually missed out in a damn near full party, full party breakdown from around the corner. As the rest oh of the party gosh. walks up to her, and um, they resume their uh, search. So, who's leading? Who's behind? Who's who's? Is the order the same? What are we doing? 
the shame. Okay. Mo Mori. So, Mori's still in front. Mori's still in front? Okay. All right. Wait, All right. see, do you want to be in front? No. Okay. Lead us. Okay. I'm in front. So, I'm Present. assuming you want to head down? Um, yeah, we're going to go down where the key was. Okay. And so, now you find yourself at this junction. There's a wall to your left. I wonder what was back there. We didn't go. Really was nothing. Let's go. Let's let's go. Let's go what to our left. Coward. Okay, our left. Okay, there you go. Another wall. Would you like to continue down? We'll go down. Oh, oh. you oh. slammed into a wall there. Sorry. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just. just ah! You can't see what, shit okay? in here. I bumped my head. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, so <laughs> you turn this corner. Would you like to uh, go straight, or where'd you like to go? No, I give up. Let's go what back home. There was treasure <laughs> back there. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go. We're not going back and checking. I think we should. Let's let's uh let's continue for a for a full path and only turn around when we when we get stuck. Okay. I think. Sure. Um, you had oh, straight. Passed, you had passed, straight. Passed, then you smack against oh, this wall. Oh. Yeah, because I I said we do a full path. So see, now we unlocked a lot. We know that. You know, we we can there, we know that the middle path isn't anything. So where would where would we like to go? Also, Mone? what is everyone? What is your passive perception? Enormous. I know passive yours is fifteen. Perception. Yeah, it should be at the top uh, of your page. Actually, is it the middle mid section? I mean, sure. Um, no, it's it's at the middle of your page to the left. Sieg, I will give you a slight buff just because your stats are wacky. So yours is probably gonna be a fourteen. Middle of the page to. Like as the the big list, like with acrobatics, animal handling, and whatnot. Yeah, but right below that, there's a bar that says like below the big skills box. This is passive wisdom, passive oh, perception. Oh, I see. Yeah. I should give you my number. Yeah, just give me the number. Uh, twelve. Okay, very good. Um, so what about you, Wilson? It says one, right? Huh? Perception. Uh, that's like my modifier, I think. No, no, go to your passive uh, perception. It's below your skill check box. I don't even. Oh, oh, I see. It's it's below the tall box, below all of the big numbers. Yeah, after all the, the skill left. checks. Oh, passive wisdom? Yeah, you're passive. It's 11. Okay, so, um, Sieg and Walvalor are the only ones who see this coming and are able to sidestep out of the way. However, Mori oh. and Rajiar are both caught in some sentient vine to grab them from the hedge wall. I have seen this before. I know how to get them out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fire! Yeah. No, my like dad! Get your butt uh, on the cutter! So, okay, what what are we gonna do? Ra our our best buddy Rajir um, <laughs> and Mare are are cast stuck fire. in a cast bunch fire. of lines. Cast fire! Don't I'm cast fire. fire! You're gonna fucking kill wait, us! Why? Wait, oh, wait, can wait, I wait, cast see, protection don't. on them? Can I cast? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I cast? I Protection and then and then fire at them. I am a cleric, so if they get hurt, so long as you don't kill them, I should be able to heal them back up. Um, protection and evil. Let's see. Let's this is this is uh, so. Um, the thing is, uh, basically, this understand. doesn't apply to fire damage. Unfortunately, this spell doesn't apply. Oh. Uh, um, what me, if please? I do ray of frost and what if I like freeze the? You can try. The, the vine. You can, you can try. It's like the thing that is work? like um, it's like. Like, I'm just going to assume your aim is pretty solid. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, would you like to cast? <laughs> um, I would like to cast Ray of Frost to try to, uh, freeze the vines from Mori and Rad and cut them after they've been frozen. Okay. And Rajar and Mori, you're going to sit nice and still, right? You can sit as still as possible. I don't fucking trust her for shit. I'm going to die. No, you're whatever. I have, I have, die. I, I have, I have, um, I have false life. You're good. Okay, so I have I'm, I'm going to, comforting. I'm just going to manually roll for you, BB, because I have the sheet open here. Okay, I'm, gonna I'm sorry. Roll for you just because your your stats are a little funny. Don't worry. I'm just, I just kind of guessed. I have it on my my notes on my phone. I have a guess in what your stats should be like. Don't worry about it. Mm. Um, so let me go ahead and roll for you. Nice. Okay, so that's an 18 to hit, which means you hit directly only at the vines. The people who the vines are holding are completely unharmed. And Unfortunate. So you, uh... Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate, she says. 
Uh, you blast, you blast the vines with a freezing ray of cold, and they snap off as they freeze, freeing Moray and Rajiar. Oh. I take payment. Good work, Wavalor. <laughs> Wavalor did nothing. <laughs> so we, um, oh. I guess we 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 should keep in mind is that. The person leading uh, should be, I guess, exceptionally careful because this maze is certainly alive. Um, and we have a limit on how many of these spells we can cast, so that might not work again. Um, perhaps uh -huh. we should be we should be ex expect expecting a fight of, of similar caliber. Um, but also, we should just I keep, keep my in mind, up. this is... Was that part of the hedge, or were the, was that a separate entity? Are we in a giant living maze, or was oh, that you, just a little? From your from your uh your uh check earlier, from your investigation earlier, you could determine <laughs> this maze was in some degree alive. Oh, yeah. I think the maze doesn't want us to be here, guys. Guys, what if what if we climb the walls and we get on top? Hmm. What happens then? What if indeed? Actually, we could try. Man, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking find out. Last time they grabbed me, and uh, I didn't like that very much. So, uh, maybe the not. next time, don't worry, it. I'll free you with a guiding bolt. So, <laughs> yeah, that'll save me. Yeah, you'll be fine. Literally so... radiant, literally radiant damage. Oh my god. <laughs> and also, mind you, okay. if you hit someone with radiant with a guiding bolt, the next person that attacks him gets advantage, so it makes them vulnerable yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be. That's it, it. Gives you an extra challenge and freedom. It's freedom from the vines and. And a challenge in the next round. So you're welcome if that happens. Also, uh, I say, can I take? The, I'll take the lead since my perception is high, uh, sure. and I'll be able to 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 find these vines maybe. Uh, and I say we're gonna go to the left, and I'm using it from like the map uh, point of view of from top down. Mm -hmm. So we're at okay. the end. So let's okay, go left, and then up, and then up, and then we're gonna Ooh. go oh, smack into all there. Ah. My head. And then let's go right. Here? Nice perception. Yeah. Up or low? Up or low? Uh, at the top. Okay. Oh, it's a wall. Uh, okay, then we'll go back down, retrace to go in the middle. Yes, go to the right. Oh, another day. Oh, oh well, my goodness. Well, well, well. Uh, well. <laughs> Gorsh. Let's go, <laughs> I say, we go down um, <laughs> where that, that opening right there and go to the right. And up. Oh god, don't be a dead. Oh. Okay, and then then right. And then up. And then left. Oh, 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 oh. You... oh god. Oh. Okay. You stumble upon a mirror. A, you stumble upon a mysterious mirror of sorts. You don't know what it is. Um, would you like to oh pick god. it up? I fucking punch it. No, <laughs> why? I'm at the front! <laughs> Please let me pick up the mirror. Okay, leave <laughs> it. Wall Investigate it. Uh, I'm trolling. I don't want to punch it. I'm trolling. <laughs> Wall of the Lord, would you like to pick up the mirror? Um. Yeah, I'll just pick it up. I I don't get. It's not a potion. It's not some kind of chemical. I don't. I'm I'm mostly only paranoid about certain various byproducts of the potion process. I'm not paranoid about some stupid little mirror. I'll pick it up. Of course, so you pick it up, and you hold on your two hands, and like, a magical energy begins to shake the mirror in your hands. It be begins to burn hot in your hands. And then, oh. in your head, all you can hear is, is this music in your mind. You look deep into the mirror, and you see the following. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh it's, it's Ayamare's music video for, for Bizarre <laughs> Pussy TV! Oh available, my god! Now available on YouTube for streaming! Crazy! Wow! Amazing! I, I, I feel like this is... Skip ad. The... Skip oh ad. Skip ad. One of the There's highest a on the mirror? Really? I am a proud subscriber. <laughs> I am a... I am subscribed to the premium. Oh my I goodness! I should not have these fucking you, ads. You pick up the mirror and like, skip, you hear skip, it's an skip, absolute skip. banger. You have a... I you, keep, you have this, I keep yeah. listening. You have, you have this distinct feeling that she's been practicing for months for this, and it's well worth listening to, and it's available <laughs> now for streaming on the IMR channel. Okay, then I you have... put down the mirror. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am so entranced by the song and how good it was, and the energy <laughs> and effort and careful planning that was put into it that I that I begin to cry. <laughs> and I, I fall to my knees, and I, I sob 
<laughs> for five seconds, and then I... Oh, oh, goodness. I haven't cried like that since, well, before your father was born. And then I stand up, and I'm, I am, I'm ready to continue on my way. Uh, <laughs> however, I will, I will like to check just to see if there's anything else to the mirror or <laughs> if it is else? That's there's it. nothing else okay just kidding i'd like to just <laughs> that was such a Are wonderful you're... experience <laughs> i'd like to go mm. to the to the um to you the know, oh, i yeah? was wondering how this maze was built because it must cost a lot of money but they do put ads in here so it makes sense mm -hmm. <laughs> and bb what'd you say can we take the i want to take the mirror and intimidate mori with it <laughs> Why? <laughs> you want to listen that's... to me, then I'm just gonna, you know, play an ad. <gasps> oh, wait, that's a constant that. ad! So, now that okay. C- now that C gets picked up the mirror and the song is perpetually playing, all you hear as you walk by is- is- <laughs> what is it, uh... But you cut out! Cut out for us! You just hear, like, quiet singing in the background. Yeah, we got background music now. You're welcome. We do. We, yeah, we got the background. Now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we found a music player. Yeah, got an MP3. Oh my gosh. We the MP3. Yeah. This is actually a we. I pocket the mirror, and am I allowed to pocket? Put it in my bag. Well, and, it's in, it's in uh, C's hands right now. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll let oh. you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I uh, if I had punched it for real, I'm sure you would be a little upset <laughs> if I did. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I mean, it would still play, but like your knuckles would be bloody and be, it'd be skipping every few notes. So like it'll be, it'll be the same but annoying. <laughs> like a broken record. <laughs> it's broken, but it's still playing. Okay, so now that this... Wobbler has has it in her pocket, now what? I think that it is time to proceed, and I go to the to the left mm -hmm. near the mirror from down. Then I go up, and I go left, and oh. Bonk, ah, uh, then I go up. And, oop. I, I'm, I'm, my navigation skills ain't so good, huh? I, You're <laughs> I go, darkness. that's true. Uh, I, I backtrack a little bit and then I go up again. And let's do right. I'm a fast leader. I'm a little, I'm sprinting the maze. Bonk. Oh, Which one? Um, I think it's going to be the middle one and then up. The middle path right there. Up and then to the to the yeah yep bonk and then down bonk and then over to the left and bonk and down we're making good progress mm -hmm. and left and i should imagine Ooh, that uh, you know, like i think like while was full-blown sprinting but also like just running into shit like there's just like like leaves <laughs> and like sticks and shit just like flying everywhere it's like it's like camera pan away. You can just see this like little orb of light in this maze, just rapidly moving throughout this maze, and just hitting things every now and then. <laughs> I need to find that girl. I am so desperate to save her. The time is ticking, and her her life every moment is is. Anyway, I gotta save her, and I'm going really fast. And oh I go, gosh. I go so up. Fast and furious. Okay, so you up, go up, and then left, and then. Oh, bonk. Ah, uh, where where would you go if you were in this situation, team? Where are we thinking? Uh, up. up. All right, I Just go up. The exit, not the Bonk. I want to get out. And then I go right. Oh. Oh, bonk. Oh, okay. Backtrack to the middle, uh, and then go up again, and then to the yeah, the zigzag all the way, hopefully a way out. Bonk. Oh, okay, we're okay. out. Okay. We Woo! did it. Wow. You have successfully... Okay, so now... Let me close this before I accidentally flash some yell or something. Okay, so you find your way to the exit of the maze. So it leads to this open clearing of sorts, right? So you're still surrounded by uh, the hedge maze, which is kind of odd. This doesn't seem to be a full way out. However, mm. however, um, oddly enough, this... Area is kind of like in a box shape, like a big 20 by 20 foot box, right? There's like some rocks and some rubble and that kind of thing in this area. You also notice, alarmingly enough, there appears to be the personal belongings of past adventures strewn about. Like mostly empty backpacks, the occasional missing shoe, a hat, a pair of gloves, that kind of thing. And at the very oh, center no. of this room, uh, or this kind of clearing, there is a pedestal with three glowing blue potions sitting on it. It's all protected by a cage under lock and key. 
Um, I am wondering if spirit guardians act as people. Like, if they the don't. maze would register them. Okay. Grr. Um, so this looks a little peculiar, as in maybe perhaps dangerous. Um, I'm wondering if we have any way to... Any volunteers to go ahead and, and go down there and take take a peek, take one for the team, and see and see what happens when we get down uh, into the into the twenty by twenty foot maze. Well, um, actually, you're in the clearing um, already. Just kind of like behind you is the rest of the maze that you just left, oh, and in front of you is this I'm already clearing. in there. Yeah. Oh, so there's just a whole bunch of people's stuff here, and and I, I'm just here with it. Oh. Um, can we <laughs> take the key and try to unlock the cage with the potion? Yes, you can. You can go ahead and try it. Um, so, are you doing it yourself, Seed? Uh, I volunteer Mori to do it. Hi. 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 I also volunteer Mori. I can I cast <laughs> protection from evil, um, on on Mori before he walks up to the cage. Go ahead, you can. I cast it. How do I cast it? Uh, go to your spells and you click on the spell. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, this should help you against any chemicals in the ground. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Um, and hmm. I want you should guys I... to know if I if I die, you no longer like like I'm the only human. Um, you'll be fine. So, uh... Good. We lose our, our 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 only. Well, I'm half human, so it you know. I, it'll I be guess. fine. Yeah. <laughs> um... Uh. Should I cast Bless on this guy? If you'd like to. Give, give me every every spell you got. <laughs> Bless him as hard as you can. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am... I'm... Here you go. Mm -hmm. Pat's More on the back. Good luck out there, buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have fun. You get the wish, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get the wish. You certainly do. Okay, I'll wish you guys to never exist. <laughs> no! What the heck? The bootstrap paradox! What? <laughs> you wish me out of existence, you could wish for anything, and you threaten to wish my existence away. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll look at you, I'll look at you with this, with a, with a, with an absolute fucking evil smile. <laughs> oh my he's trying to turn into Kaneki Ken, oh my god. He, the, the, the betrayal. I look like Frodo at the end. Of Return it of the King. The it's mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's mine, Sam. No, Frodo. Okay, so no. so um so Wavalor double buffs with bless and protection from um, good and evil. Um, Seek passes off the key to Moray, and of course Rajar also just kind of pushes Moray into that area. Oh my God, Jotzina in chat. Thank you. Do 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 do. I didn't even see him. Thank yeah, because you, because it's mini scooter, that's why. Um, but thank you. That's because. <laughs> and so, John and so, at, mm. so Moray is pushed up to uh, walk over to the pedestal. So, so he does. Mm. So he walks to the pedestal, and the key fits mm -hmm. in the lock mm -hmm. perfectly. Not not a single mm. not a single issue. The lock turns and clicks, and it opens. The mm -hmm. um the potions are now available. However, however, on the floor below you, magical sigils begin to light up. Um, Dear God. The oh, magical presence power. flares up. Um, it's burning and singeing the, the grass around it. You can oh. feel that a powerful and evil presence is approaching momentarily. What would you like to do? Um, Ice cream. <laughs> well, give us a sample. Give us a, what's it sound like? Give us a sample. Oh, it, the whole <laughs> thing got got audio suppressed on Discord. <laughs> we didn't hear it. No. It cuts out IRL too. Oh, oh it yeah. cuts out IRL it's as like, well. It's like Mori opens their mouth to scream and just nothing comes out. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wonder. It's too bad. Discord, Discord is so like so troll with that but um so basically Splitter. he screams silently into the heavens mm -hmm. and, well, um, and mind you y'all feel the presence too something evil cometh this way and remember there are some rocks and boulders in the pedestal itself 
um, in the area with you. It's not just a open field or nothing. It's it's an enclosed space, and there's a few spots where you could potentially hide yourself. So the rest of you, ah. um, after Mori's screaming, and more if you'd like to do something else, let me know. Uh, what are y'all doing? <laughs> do you want to do anything but scream? Let me know. <laughs> I, 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 I want to check the potions. Do they have anything? Any, any like, inscriptions on them or what they are? Of course. So Mori Can grabs I? the potions. Um, roll me investigation <laughs> and make it quick. Normally this wouldn't fly, but I'm a nice DM. I'll let you do. I'll let you get away with it. <laughs> I clicked oh, it. Uh, Wait, was that it? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Mori grabs all three potions, looks at them, and like, yep, liquid. All right, what are the rest of you guys doing? <laughs> um, uh, mm. I, I feel the presence of, I, I am, I have been taught this moment would come since I was very young. It, this is this is the coming of a for-profit potion. I decide <laughs> it is time for me to run. Uh, I, I can I hide behind a rock? Yes, you can. Uh, uh so you hide behind the rock. So you station yourself there. Um, Sieg, what are you doing? I want to cast protection from evil and good. Mm -hmm. On who? On yourself? On everyone? Um, it's everyone? it's I believe it's single target. Okay, for myself then. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you cast on yourself. Yeah. Okay, what else are you doing? And then I want to uh can I just like cast Mage Hand? Uh Mage Hand? Okay, what are we gonna do it for? Just like to have it out. Um yeah, you, you could if you'd like, yeah. Um, am I in distance of the said potions? Um, I'd say because uh the room is a 20 by 20 foot, so I, I guess Mori is about 10 feet away. Um, yeah, you're in range. Okay, I want to grab the potions. Okay, Mori, are you going to relinquish Are you gonna relinquish the potions to uh, Sieg? Take it, smarty pants. Take it, I, I don't give a fuck. Take all of it. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> okay, so Sieg successfully uses Mage Hand to kind of like... The potion vials are not that big, they're kind of palm-sized. And so they all fit in the Mage Hand and it's taken back to Sieg. And oh. then I turn around and run, run back into the maze. Hey! Get <laughs> so back! As, as She's Sieg, ditching. As Sieg <laughs> turns to run, miraculously enough, the maze sees you trying to run and closes itself off from you. You're now locked oh. in a little hedge box. Oh, Karma. Karma. <laughs> All right, Karma. I hide I behind Reg. No, that's really fucking awkward, isn't I, it? I, hide, I have to turn I back hide. and say sorry. <laughs> No, I don't. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> so, where are, you, where are you hiding, Sieg? Uh, can I hide behind Rag? Rad? Oh, Rad? 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 Oh, actually, where's, ha where's yeah. Rad? What are you doing, Rad? Uh, I'm curious if, as a paladin, I have some sort of way to uh, in intuit where the source of this evil aura might be. You do have an aura of protection with you as a passive pally. I, okay, so it's a, it's a passive ability. Okay. Um, so I have no need to cast it, correct? Yeah, or protection is always just, it's always on. Once you reach a certain level as a pal, you just have it. Okay, so I'm chilling. Uh, if that's the case, where is, where is Shithid? Shithid is on your shoulder. Still on my shoulder, okay. Um, I, I'm curious if he has anything to do with this. Is there, there's something he can do? Like, like I can... Uh, she's visibly frightened, know. but kind of like digging her claws into you a little bit, but she doesn't seem to want to do anything but hide. Okay, all right then. Hmm, hmm. And Mori is uh, is currently in a panic, correct? Mori is like just like crouching down by the pedestal, like empty-handed, just like like mouth open, screaming, but nothing's coming out. Like they're just dis like Discord call disconnecting. I see. Okay. All right then. Uh, can can I can I make an attempt to to free Sieg? To free Sieg from what? Uh, isn't Sieg trapped? Oh no! Just they're just no, cut off. They're just no, cut no, off no, I'm hiding visiting. behind you. Yeah, they're oh, currently okay, literally you're... behind you. <laughs> she tried okay. to run away. I, I have right, to then, imagine that as Sieg, as Sieg runs to hide behind Rad, just fully flipping off Mori this entire time. <laughs> okay, well, I, I wanna, I wanna try and try and do something active. So if there's a there's a pedestal to attack or or fuck up, I wanna fuck it up. Okay, so mm -hmm. just to prep, prep, like just brace yourself for an attack. Yes, I would like to brace myself for an attack. Okay, cool. So. As you sit there, so you've made your decision. So, the magical presence flares up. You can tell it's finally arrived. Uh, the magical symbols around the uh, pedestal begin to burn and light up, and a humanoid form operates into view. 
It's a hooded humanoid figure. So the only person who's hiding... Actually, I'll actually give you Mori this. Mori, roll me stealth, because you're actually technically out of sight, because you're on the other side of the pedestal, so they don't see you immediately. So roll me um, stealth. And Walvalor, Wal you also roll me stealth. Uh, 19. 19? Nice, nice. And then actually, yeah. uh, Sieg, you're also hidden. Roll me stealth, because you're hiding behind a whole ass person. Oh, okay. Oh, my oh God. shit, you're wearing heavy <laughs> armor, that's right. You have disadvantage. Um, stuff. Oh, I'm gonna give you your buff. Uh, you got so a minus one. That's a three oh. total. Okay, so, um, okay, so as the hooded figure looks around, Kunai is just like, Lavalor is just not hidden at all. Like, you can see obviously like a head poking over the top of the rock. It's like, Oops. like, <laughs> it's like, Lavalor has no like idea that like, if you, if you, if you can see the person, they can also see you. And so you're just looking at this person dead in the eye as they just kind of like quizzically look right back at you. And then, um, <laughs> C is oh. visibly standing, but like, doesn't even crouch, just visibly standing behind Rad. Like, no, like, no question about it. This is obviously a person behind this person. Um, however, <laughs> Mori goes completely unnoticed, even though they're right next to, uh, the hooded figure. Um, what the hooded the? figure sees Rad immediately, and noticing both Rad, who is a high elf paladin, and then a, uh, then Wobbler, as well as C, like, to them, that's three people in their presence who are greatly outnumbering them. So, mm -hmm. um, as the uh, I figure... vote more oh. to unhood the hooded figure. Would you like to try oh, it? Because you can. Because you, you, like you are you are hidden one? right now. As of right now, the hooded figure does not know that Mori is right there. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Coward! Do it! Do it! Do it! Uh, Mori, would you? Would you like I... to? At least give them bunny ears. Like, if you can't, if you're too afraid to unhood, could you give them bunny ears for my amusement? Wait, unhood him? Yeah, there's a hooded yeah, figure. Like, so, like, would you like to pull back the hood, or like, see, like, what would you like to do? Like, right now, Sieg is trying Probably to bully you the... into it. I will. Can, can I do? Is it sleight of hand if I do it mm -hmm. without them noticing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do sleight of hand. Okay, you noticing. also have advantage because you are indeed already hidden. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. That's so dog shit. Mm. Ah. I drink luck off so long. Okay, so here's how this how here's how the situation plays. So listen carefully. So <laughs> obviously the hooded figure sees a Wavalor, Sieg, and Rage are just right fucking there. And suddenly, they don't realize it at first, but Mori sneaks around the pedestal and grabs them by the hood very quickly. And they successfully pull the hood back a little bit. Before, All right, uh, gang. Before, let's okay. find out who was behind so, this mystery. So <laughs> the the person you see, you get you get a brief glimpse of their face, and this is what you see. I fucking so, knew it. They pull <gasps> they pull the hood back down, and quickly as they arrived, they act, reactivate the magical circle, and poof on out of there. Come back! I knew it. She did. Oh, oh. All right. Okay. I would like to do something. What would you like to do? Can I get them digits? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh my... if, if you'd like to, what? you can technically follow can I, them. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I roll for that? Can I roll to get them digits? They're gone. They Wait, teleported away. <laughs> they just, they, they teleported just away. Cast yeah. guiding what? Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> I cast I guiding bolt. I gotta go I find her. There's no one there. <laughs> She's lost. I gotta go <laughs> find her. But uh, what if her name is Zelda? What? We, we, we Shut the fuck up! Her dad her. is like eighty. Okay. <laughs> we have three potions. What? What are? What are? What are we to do with? Uh, with these three mystery potions? I think that. So we have an idea. I. I think that the, based off of looking at her face, that she might be the person we are looking for. Uh, who is? Uh, something perhaps has happened. I'm wondering if these potions could be the the solution to to helping us. Bring her back home? Question mark. Question mark. If she's not like super evil, uh, so maybe we should all investigate these potions to see if we can get more information. Also, I think it's important to note that uh, now that we know she's dead, uh, I think it's morally okay for us to take hold of our possessions since she will no longer need them. I don't. I don't. I'm going to point out. I'm going to point out Rad's uh, hypocrisy <laughs> for uh, saying that he doesn't like humans, but he wants our digits um, when she's clearly. Or was, sorry, a human. 
I don't know so. if she's necessarily dead. I think she might be just in a spectral state. Well, that's pretty much dead. <laughs> I think that maybe she's like gonna get better. I think yeah. that we should look at the potion. So yeah, without I... us, she will. Not with me around. I don't care. Oh, I I go. Any... Um, actually, hold on, Rajiar. Oh, earlier, gosh. you wanted to uh, roll to get them digits, right? I will mm -hmm. let you. The closest thing I can give you is to roll to investigate the circle she just teleported out of. That's the closest I can give you. I see. Roll to get to the circle that she tele. Wait, what? To investigate You're... the circle she used to teleport. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, I have, so I have to roll investigation? Yes. Actually, roll me. Hold Actually, hold on. Do me a favor. Roll me. This is not just investigation. Let's roll me Arcana. Arcana. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, this is a magical shit right here. <gasps> wait, wait, before before she does that, wait, can can oh, I? Damn. Yes. Can I try to cast comprehend languages and see what the spell circle Excellent. says? Excellent. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Ooh, go right ooh, for it. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, any spoken language you? Uh, also, oh, I'll warn you oh, just boy. because you're. I, I will, it's okay. Uh, usually, I can. Usually, if someone casts, I just like even if it's the wrong spell, I force them to commit. Um, because you don't know this is oh, for spoken, not written. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. Actually, no. Actually. Oh, so oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Sorry, I misread it. Yes, you can, but you have to touch it. Are you willing to touch the sigils on the on the floor? Yes. Okay, cool. So, pardon me, DM fucked up there. So, um, V, uh, so C oh. kind of bends down on one knee and just kind of touches the symbols on the floor. They're still warm from being activated. Um, it's a teleportation spell. It's still active. You can actually still use it. It takes you to an unknown location about a mile away from here. Oh. Wow, okay. I thought that was a lot of information. Down. Shouldn't we know what the potions do first? Like what if what if like oh, this turns into them. a fight? Yeah. Oh. Like what if we eat there... the potions at her if it's dangerous? I... <laughs> I think that am I allowed to roll for no, perception no, to see if I can figure out what uh these these um, potions let's do? Let's do actually because these are potions, roll me. Roll me a hmm. medicine check to see if you understand. Oh, Actually, let's go. Yeah, roll me medicine. Oh, fuck, yeah, okay. So, you can tell these <laughs> potions are not what they appear to be. They're not actually magic. They just have a luminous uh, chemical in it. Um, and um, the effects for this... Actually, that's a very high roll. Um, you can tell that whoever drinks this will become severely constipated. That's about it. This is a product of Big Potion. <laughs> I want this out of the party. Uh, I don't want this anywhere near me. What if? What oh, if we? What if we try her down and then throw the potion at her, like a Maltov? Um, mm. I'm down to do that. Chemical I think warfare? okay. So there's not much we can do with this. I think we go through. I think we go through the portal. Yeah. How's that? Let's mm -hmm. do it, but C goes first because she tried the bitch. Also, <laughs> while this is happening, what's Rajar doing? Are you just, uh, are you just like, uh, just looking at the circle, just trying to ex really? I can imagine like C touching the portal, like explain to everyone what it does, and Rajar's still sitting there, like, like his hand on his chin, thinking really hard about the scribble on the floor. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing, actually, right now. Um, what does it mean? What does it mean? I Everyone else is gone. I'm, I'm there alone. <laughs> We've all gone yeah. through the portal, and he's just been waiting. It's like, what could? What do you think this portal does? And we've already like discovered. What are you figured it out? I, 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 I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to follow them through the portal. Okay, I'd so rather not be left alone. So all of you. So uh, while Valor, C, Moray, and uh, Rajar, you're all going through the portal. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, very good. So <laughs> now you've you find yourself uh, sucked into this strange abyss. You go and then you fall on your butts. You land in this uh, new. Uh, uh, we're trying to find the acid for this. <laughs> okay, so you land on your butts outside this very shabby, kind of nasty-looking um, hut of sorts. So it's quite large. But it seems to be rather old and have taken over by nature as it's covered in foliage. Um, you're surrounded by a twisting forest with a canopy so thick it seems to block out the moon itself. You hear nothing but the chirps of many insects surrounding you and the soft hum of a woman from coming inside the hut. 
What would you like to do? Um, Wait a second. Rach, Rad, go give them numbers. Go do it now. No, no, no. Don't, don't do that yet because why is there so many people missing from her village? Ooh. Is she kidnapping them and turning them to constipation potions? <laughs> I... I... <laughs> She, no, That's no, a she's a pharmacist. It's the, it's the end. She's a pharmacist. She's a pharmacist. <laughs> she's a pharmacist. <laughs> pharmacist, pharmacist. I, I don't, I don't know what to think about this. I, I've read about this in the end times. I think that she, she is to be avoided. This is, this will not go good. She's probably got all sorts of potions in there: nightshade, nettle, sour grass, uh, amphibian saliva. I, I think I should cast Firebolt onto the house to set it on fire um, and end her irony of farming humans. Uh, this what if she's be... being... But but what if she grants the wish? Guys, I want the wish. Can we ask her if she has a wish? I don't think it's true. Why are you I, trusting her? I'm not sure her? if the wish is real anymore. Yeah. Shut up! What are you going to tell me next? Person... Santa's not real? It's all too it's all too cleverly placed. The one her grandfather who's who acts a little strange and, and enthusiastic but was scared. The the book placed specifically promising wishes. I don't even I don't even know if I can trust the guild that, that gave us this, this assignment. I think that she this is a setup and that she's evil and that she's harvesting it's souls and it's all from this is a on fire. It's all from fire. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, always... I'm getting my wish no matter what, and I'm right. the one casting it, and you can cry later that I'm the one that has the wish. You're gonna end I'm up buying potions from one it's company. Just a of what must be done. <laughs> Enjoy your dream lily seed flask of oil poisoning the environment for the rest of uh the rest of the couple <laughs> hundred years because you're po you're hey. promoting you're promoting big infusion big tincture you're you're the one on the, on the wrong side of history buddy so you go ahead in there <laughs> I don't live here so I don't care go on go on <laughs> you know what I'm gonna go inside your face. I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna talk to her oh. she'll, she'll give okay. me my hey, wish all inside. right he leaves the party we set the place on fire. Let's do it. It's the party. Setting the place up. <laughs> <laughs> the party's splitting off. I I'm going with Mori. Okay, so. All right. Oh so gosh. Wobbler, Wobbler and C sure. are parked outside. In hi are you guys hiding, by the way? Um. Are you just, are you just parked outside? Hiding. I, is there anywhere big enough to hide my my massive armor? Well, to be fair, or... you can just literally park yourself outside, and no one can see you technically. So you okay. Stay yeah. I'll... yeah. I'm just out of sight then. Okay, uh, Sig, are you also kind of out of sight or just standing at the door judging? Um, I'll stand like a little bit off to the side ready to cast Firebolt. Okay, okay, so you're parked over there. So, uh, Mori and Rage you are. So you're entering the hut, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so, um, you open the door. It's a loud creak as, as you, uh, as you open it, right? And so the hut, the hut is particularly messy. It's it's looking pretty dirty. Um, like it's looking kind of ragged. Um, and it's it, it, for some reason my 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 JPEG is not showing up. Uh, I failed to oh. download it. Never mind. So imagine in your head that it's it's really messy on the <laughs> inside. Okay, super super messy. And so um, there it's full of kitchen implements and various herbs strewn about. There are multiple mysterious potions of unknown origin strewn about. Um, the walls are absolutely covered in paintings of cats. Um, in fact, the whole hut gives, gives a minor crazy cat lady vibe. Um, a large wooden table sits uh, at the center, and there's several seats positioned around it. Various foodstuffs are sitting, sitting on the table. There's a whole chicken, grilled ribs, meat pies, all kinds of treats. Um, actually, both of you, um, Rad and Moray, will me... Uh, well, actually... Let me see your uh, passive perception. Uh, it's 12 for Rad, and what's it for, Moray? My um, my passive wisdom? Yeah. No, passive. Yeah, you're. It's 11. You, yeah. Pass 11. Okay. Yeah. Um, Rajiar barely notices that some of these uh, potions stationed to the uh, to the wall um, do smell like they're mildly flammable. You don't know what they are, but they smell dangerous. They don't smell like you, you probably shouldn't drink these, like that kind of thing. Um, mm. It literally so, is big potion. <laughs> it is big potion. <laughs> what is and so, place on fire? Um, off to the side, um, the cloaked figure fusses over a pot, stirring and adding various ingredients and spices to it. It must be some kind of stew. 
She hears you and she turns around. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Whip up, pull up the thingy again. Okay. Yeah. So she she sees you and she turns around to uh, meet your gaze. Um, she smiles at you. Funny enough. Oh. Where's my wish? <laughs> mm. Well, well probably because I, I took care of Shathid. I'm sorry. Uh, it's so it's so nice to see you. Um, you're just in time for supper. Have a seat. Uh, please help yourselves. You must be so tired from all that adventuring. Um, as she speaks, you hear a slight thud. It's coming from the door behind her. She briefly kicks it and goes, uh, like, like, hey, sorry. I have a truly unruly pet back there. Pay, pay it no mind. No, no, please, have a seat. And with that, she uh -uh. goes ahead and uh, removes her robe. Uh, uh. Oh, that she... must be my wish. Hold on, let me oh, open it for them. Her. Dear Baba Lord, <laughs> it's her. She, what's the no, name of the girl? Hard, aren't we? Yeah, but it's, it's I, Ava. I was... it's Ava. Yeah. Ava. It's Ava. So am I able to see in? Am I able to see in a window uh, and you, peek you in and see in. all this? Yeah, sure. I'm peeking actually, in so that me, I, I get actually, context. Actually, roll me stealth. Roll, okay, okay. Like, see and okay. love. If you're peeking in, you need to roll me stealth. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. No problem. I love to stealth around. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm so good uh, at it. Well. Oh, good. <laughs> Damn. So, oh, so do, guys, so guys, don't forget, Vivi does have wacky stats. So, um, Vivi, you're actually you pass, you're fine. Um, Kunai, oh, however, okay. uh, six doesn't cut it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Kunai just like <laughs> uh, so Wavlor, like so like like um, Sieg is able to sneaky kind of like lean over and like you know like uh, and Ava does not notice her at all. Um, however, Wavlor just plans her face into the window where you can obviously <laughs> see someone right there. Like there's a thud just. As she plants her face <laughs> on the window. And, What's going on and, there? <laughs> what is going on? And so Ava is like, oh, oh, what are you doing outside? Come on in. Like, come on in. Dinner's just getting ready. Have a seat with me. Have a seat with me. Eat, 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 eat. Mm -hmm. So she okay, sees you invites go, you in. in. Okay. So oh, okay. um Sieg, are I you don't want to go in. Okay, Sieg is still stationed outside. Wavalor, Moray, and uh, uh, Rajiar are now inside. So she's standing in front of you. She's inviting you to eat. Um, what do you what do you like to do? Um, um hmm. don't thank you so much for the food. That is so nice of you, I say, casting uh purify food and drink uh as as stealthily as I can on the food. I hope you don't mind. Uh it's so nice of you to have offered this food to us. I just have a lot of of allergies and I just wanna get rid of uh any gluten that's in this food. <laughs> I'm just gonna really quickly uh cast this before i let anybody mm. touch it okay um, she she seems you you cast purify food and drink she seems kind of upset about it she seems a little mad she seems offended mm. that you dare do something right in front of her after she slaved all day cooking all this food i mm. it's it's just a gluten allergy of mine so i am so excited to eat your gorgeous wonderful extremely good smelling cooking uh and i might say um you have a where where are you from if you don't mind me asking <laughs> um, ava kind of like looks around she's like oh i'm from this area ah oh, interesting and mm, as, uh, can, as, can I... as wobbler is talking um moray uh Rajar, are you doing anything yes uh i i am i so so Similar to what Wobbler's doing, except that I'm not I'm not casting anything on the food. Mm -hmm. uh, I am I am simply uh, thanking uh, and uh, faking eating it. Uh, and I would like to inquire about uh, if she's aware of what's going on uh, in town. That there are people looking for her. Ah, okay. So mm. ah, so uh, missing people. Oh well, you know people go missing all the time. You know these days are it's quite dangerous to wander out alone. You know, and so if people go missing, then so be it. There's lots of dangerous things in the forest these days. So you you better be careful, okay? She dodged the question. Why'd she dodge the question? I'm wondering oh, by are you confronting her directly by saying that to her? You dodged yes. the question. <laughs> why'd you dodge <laughs> the why'd you dodge the question, Ava? I, I asked I asked if you know that you're missing. There are people looking for you. I'm I'm not I'm not hiding anything. No 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 no. Here, you look tired. Perhaps you're just thinking things. Eat up, eat up. Alright. I'm not hungry. Can I roll to riz her up and still tell me the truth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, before you do that, Moray, is there anything you're doing? Water. I, I, 
I, I just, I just, I just look at her and I'm pouting like a fucking three-year-old. I'm like, where's my wish? <laughs> like a wish, dear? Like, what are you talking about? There's, there's no, the, you can't just wish things to happen. No, grow up. That's so silly. He I was dinner. promised Eat. a wish. A wish. <laughs> I want my wish now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Rajar, go ahead and roll me charisma to see if you can successfully riz her. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Charisma or doing. persuasion? Uh, charisma. Wait, say wants to do something. Um, charisma. And then see, what are you doing in the meanwhile? What is charisma? Can I walk to the back of the cottage and see if there's a second entrance in the back and go through there? Yes, you may. Uh, Again roll, with the freaking good ideas. Uh, roll me an uh, investigation of just the general house. Okay, noted. Okay, pause. I'll handle this next bit. Um, so, Vanta. Uh, so, Rajiar <laughs> attempts to riz um, Ava. She seems thoroughly uninterested. Like, thoroughly just... Yeah. Kind of just eyes glaze over a little bit. Like, that's nice. Anyways. L-Riz. Like, actually... L-Riz, oh, L-Riz. Ra Rajiar, yeah. how would you like to rope? Like, how did you riz her? What did you say to her? That's it. You, you got pretty <laughs> eyes. Did you also, just bark because you blew me away? Oh. <laughs> also, uh, is... Rajar, do you have the cat with you? I do I was have gonna the cat ask with me. I do. Cat. Shadid, is, Shadid should still be on my shoulder. Shadid is on your shoulder, okay. Mm. Um, You're kind of like... It's a cat. You're, cat. You, can, you can kind of read Shadid's expression. Shadid is kind of like confused. Okay, and while this is happening, um, uh, Sieg, uh, is kind of running out back. And, uh, guys, remember, uh, v Vivi's stats are wacky because the sheet's kind of funny. Um, so I'm giving her a slight buff on these. So, um, you go out back, you find a shed that's connected to the main house. There seems, there's not a door leading inside, though, so it's strange how it's like an extra shed, but there's no door. It looks like the only way to access the door, to access this particular shed connected to the house, is by going through the house. I am wondering, um... um can we oh. go through the... okay. Oh wait, sorry. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm I am dumb. The house. Do your thing. Um, can I set fire to the shed? Oh my oh. god! You? <laughs> Are I mean, a fucking arsonist. What? I mean, if you that want to, you can. Sense. You you can if you want to. It's it's D and D. You do as you please. There's a stopper. It's not there to stop oh, her, yes. technically. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. So you cast fire. What do you cast? Fireball or fire bolts? There's a difference. Um, um. What is what is the difference? Um, fireball is large and will incinerate the entire house. Firebolt is a controlled fireball the size of a baseball. Um, I guess they're still inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I'll cast Fireball onto the shed. Okay, so, um, Sieg casts Firebolt on the shed, and lo and behold, to no one's surprise, the wall low-key catches fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And so oh back inside, as as Walvalor and Moray and Rage are kind of avoiding eating dinner, having this kind of tense conversation with uh, Ava, they hear banging from the room behind her. The banging is getting more frantic, and now you can hear um, a, a voice. You can you can the way it's kind of muffled. You can tell there's something in its mouth. But you can hear, "Let me out! Get me out of here! C come on! There's a fire! Let me out of here!" Oh dear God! <laughs> no, nah, that's just so, the cat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> is there any chance that there's a girl named Ava locked in your back room? Um, I'm just curious because uh, something seems a little strange with the way that the cat, Ava's cat, is reacting to you, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> you imposter! I think, I think that we have reached a conclusion here. Um. Anyway, I cast, um, I cast Guiding Bolt on Ava. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, if you'd, um, like, if you'd like to, if you'd like to, you can. I actually am going to cast Guiding Bolt on her. So... Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay. So go to your I spells and click, her. yes, go to your spells and click Guiding okay. Mmm, okay, interesting. Hold on, let me, let me check something real quick. 
She sucks. The fact that Shithi didn't do anything the moment we we went in says says a lot, doesn't it? Ah, uh, okay. Sure there cat. is. Unfortunately, Wobbler is oh, no. too close range and misses. It hits, oh. it hits the window behind her. A fucking bright ass laser shoots into the night, singeing the tree line behind her, uh, behind in the canopy. However, Ava is not fucking happy with this. So she's she, <laughs> she's kind of snarling at you at this point. She seems very fucking pissed. Now, Sieg, oh. back to you. Now the fire has burned out. Oh, what the fuck did you click? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to know what this was. <laughs> oh, no worries, no worries, no worries. I was confused. I thought you were trying to cast something. Yeah. So... No, 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 no. As, yeah. as this is happening, um, so cut back to uh, Sieg. Sieg, the, the back wall has now kind of burned down. You see, um, you can kind of peer past the burning wall of the shed. You see what looks like Ava, who has been bound up, like kind of like, um, with twine around her wrists, uh, bound with like um, a kind of like cloth gag, kind of like falling down around her mouth as she's slamming against the door. Oh dear. Okay. Um, I would like to free her. Okay, so you walk in and free her. Um, so no no checks necessary. So, as this is happening, so we're bringing these parties back together. So, mm. as soon as Seek frees Ava, Ava. Like, is, uh, freed of her binds, she pushes open the door, sees the other Ava, and immediately starts attacking her. So, these two oh. girlies are now in a full-blown cat fight. What? And oh. so, and so, like, as, oh, no. as is happening, the other Ava is screaming, like, I thought I locked you up in there, good little miss. She streaks in anger. Ava, un uh, Ava tackles her to the ground without even acknowledging e anyone else in the room. She lunges, kicking and screaming. The two Avas are basically rolling down around on the floor, screaming, punching, scratching at each other. Their fight is so wild and so unestranged, you lose track of which one is which. They roll no. around the okay, floor, guys. biting and scratching and pulling each other's hair. Oh, I... So, what would you like to do? Flip a coin. Fuck it. No! <laughs> the cat! No, 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 no. <laughs> Somebody! Cat. I'm mad. Somebody take grab one of them, it. and I'll... No, okay, no, no, no. We'll take the cat from Rad, and then we'll threaten that we'll cut the cat in two unless they stop fighting. I'm going... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. I could also cast hold person on one of them and someone else could hold the other one and we can have the cat sniff them. Oh. But what my way is more fun. <laughs> I don't want to threaten the cat. Actually, uh, Mori and Rad, what are your what are your inputs on the situation? They're still fighting, by the way. There's like there's like clumps of hair being tossed about. Like they're, 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 it's bad. Uh, okay, guys. Maybe the weird one that tried to offer us food that was totally not, like, meant to kill us or something. Maybe she's the bad one. We don't okay. know which one it is, is Mori. Because they... Well... <laughs> okay, just, just say out loud, guys, who's evil? And whoever says, me, we kill them. Easy. <laughs> I cast hold person. Okay, on... Uh, I... Which one? Left or right? Uh, I'm gonna cast on the it doesn't the left one. Okay. And s someone else, please go get the other Ava to prevent oh, them. I I will grab the other one. Okay. I will, I will, so, I will restrain the other one. So left Ava is being held by. A what are you trying to say, Steve? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Rad, now you have two of them. <laughs> Oh, he's catching That's muscle good. maidens. Oh shit! And so, uh, the Ave on the left is being held by um, hold person cast by Wavalor. Um, actually, go ahead and actually hold on. I need to make a saving throw, I believe. Oh. A saving throw. Oh gosh. Yeah, I need to make a. I need to make a quick saving throw. Give me a second. Yeah. Let me check. You oh, succeed. You manage to hold her. So, oh, um, the Ava on the left is being held by whole person. The other one's being physically restrained by uh, Rajiar. Rajiar, roll me a strength check. Let's see how well you can restrain her, because she's still fighting. She's still, like, taught, like, like uh, fighting back quite a bit. You said roll what exactly? A strength check. A strength check, okay. Yeah, it should be the big uh, values on the on the left-hand side, like one of the big ones. I see. And uh, just cover uh, the, the text itself. Strength. Perfect. Okay, very good. Um, so you managed to still restrain her despite her gnashing and like clicking around and that kind of thing. So, they're both restrained. What are you doing next? 
Um, I, I would like I to ask them. I, I, I frown. I put and I cross both my arms and I start walking, like pacing back and forth between the two, like staring at both of them. And I start pointing fingers. You, you got my wish. <laughs> you, <laughs> you got it. Which one got my wish? Morte, there was no wish. It was bait to get us up here. We've been happy. You had it. It was you had from it. the beginning. Hey, you want the wish for we yourself. Knew. We don't have any proof that they even promised us a wish because you ate the book, Morte. Otherwise... Yeah, so nobody can get it except me. And, oh, while, I know the and truth. while you're arguing, while you're talking, Ava on the left pipes up like, it's her! She's the fake one! I, It's it's not me! I'm not the fake one! The Ava on the right goes, no, 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 no! She's lying! She's trying to get me killed! Guys, attack the other one! And they start going back and forth. Mm. Right, okay, yeah, what can do? I roll to riz them both? <laughs> you, If you want, yeah! At, at the same time, <laughs> sure. and then based on their reaction, I'll know? Sure. If she's not in, if, if she's not interested, oh, I have another then plan I'll know. too. I still have the other well, plan. Let, let, let uh, Rajar uh, do this first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, go, Riz. Okay. Uh, I roll. I roll uh, charisma. Yeah, roll me a charisma. Okay. That's your saving throw. Roll me a check. Yeah, a saving. Check? Oh, yeah, because that's the saving throw. Uh, so persuasion. Uh, no, uh, it's so... raw charisma, so it's the the values on the left, like the far left, the big numbers. The big. Oh, thing. okay. Yeah. Oh fuck! It's a flash of twenty. Nice. Okay. Very damn, good. Damn. Okay. Damn. Yeah. And so damn. The, thing is, the thing is. Oh my god. The thing is. Double your is. Ragers. Okay. What do you t what do you tell them? What do you say to them? Well, play this out for me. What do you say? Hmm. Huh. If you tell me what I if you tell me what I want to know, I'll show you a good time. <laughs> <laughs> They're t that's a twenty. Okay. So. Uh, damn. And so. Uh, let me, let me, hold on, let me roll something myself on. Or, or rather, um, mm, mm, my, my people call me Radriar, but you can call me tonight. <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah. Yeah. oh. <laughs> okay, so you raise them both. However, it is so effective. They both have the same response. They just start to flush like, oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh my goodness. And the one they're currently holding is like, oh, you're so big and strong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, is just rolling her eyes. Like, what in the this is definitely the effect of something some kind of some kind of chemical in the water. <laughs> what if we throw the potions at them? Um actually, see, well, didn't you wanna was... use the cat method first? Or do you want to use, oh, resort to the potion? Yes. Okay. Um, can I take the cat from Rad? Mm -hmm. Rad we are. And then I... Um, since you're both Ava and you both love this cat, you don't mind if I split this cat in half so you guys can both have the cat, right? Um, oh my god! Roll, roll me deception. Ooh. See if you can, uh -oh. you can convince them <laughs> that, that, that you were serious. Negative. Charisma. Uh oh, that's oh! not one. That's not one. They neither of them fucking believe you. <laughs> oh. oh no. So, they they don't think you're gonna split the cat in half. Yeah, uh, they think that they like oh. Zeke is just full of full of like the hot air right now, just tomfoolery. Wait, can they just come? Can I they just both come home with me and then we win? Fire. <laughs> Why don't we let the cat choose? Why don't we let the cat choose one of them? Actually, hold on, wait. Uh, Rage, are you holding the right one, right? Yes, I'm holding the right one. Your passive perception's only a twelve, right? Yes. Okay, never mind. Okay, I so I I know that I have strong evidence to believe that this this wonderful cute little cat on the the shoulder of of mr radriar it belongs to the real ava so if i know i know the cat doesn't really like me so am i am i allowed to try to pick up the cat you can despite my, my worm fellow animal handling oh dear uh let me f okay oh okay so you manage to pick up the cat. How she she's not happy. She just squirms right out. She scratches you up and just jumps out of your hands. And she lands okay. in the floor between the two Avas. Okay, let's let's see which if if the cat picks uh Ava, Ava because I believe that will be the the correct one, the real one. Okay. So, uh um Oh, wait. Hmm. Can I help Cass comprehend languages to the cat so we can understand? 
what um, they're saying. Can you click on the spell real quick? Let me read the spell real fast, because I don't know if it'll work on animals. Let me see. Does it work? Uh, I don't remember if it applies to animals that can't animals? speak common in the first place, but I will let it slide. Sure, you can go ahead and... Uh, you want to cast on the cat? Yes. So now the cat is able to understand anything you tell it. Okay. Okay. All right. What do you want to do? Who's the real Ava? Okay, so as you're telling uh, uh, telling her uh, Shithid this, Shithid just kind of nods and like, okay, understands. She jumps to the Ava that's currently being uh, held under the whole person spell and just pops on her shoulder. Oh. In that case, I think that we have What our... if the cat is stupid? <laughs> I think that the... Um, kill them both. I yeah. think that actually, Problem we're gonna solved. probably... I think it would be a good idea to not do that. I think that we could just take one home. But, but, I'm but pretty she's convinced. part of my pharma. We could take them both home. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I could Rad, take them both home. Rad, you just want to okay, take them Hal, both as, home. Okay, <laughs> as you are arguing, as you are arguing, as the Ava on the right sees that uh, the cat has given away some critical information, she mm. looks pissed. Super fucking pissed. She begins to squirm in um, Rajar's arms. And Rajar, as she's finally squirming and kind of like, you know, like like shifting around, you notice that her size is changing. Like her body, her body shape is changing as you're holding her. And so... Mm. And so, uh, let's see. So... The Ava on the left looks relieved, happy that Shithid is in her arms and that kind of thing. Well, actually, on her shoulder, she can't move. Um, the other Ava is furious. She scowls, snarling at the party. A bright green aura surrounds her, engulfing both her and Rajiar. Um, her uh, back hunches. Her face twists into a hideous visage. Um, let's see. Oh. Uh, her skin oh. turns a bumpy and sickly green. She bursts into a hideous cackle. As you all realize that she is a hag. Boop. Oh! You still want to hit that, bro? Oh! A woman of um, the natural organics? Against big, big potion? Brewing a homemade organic in her backyard? Oh! Can I kill her? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's up to you. She looks really mad and she might start attacking. So, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, she's in my arms. I'd like to strangle her. <laughs> Ma'am, um, what is what well, is your what is your goal? I would like to know the goals that she you has. say as Rad is strangling her. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Rad, don't strangle, don't strangle her. The constipation potion. I you could if you want. You can. It's it's open. All right. Okay, while I'll, I'll give you guys Rad time because we're all talking at once. I'll give you guys time to strategy strategize what you want to do. Okay. okay. I want Almost. to kill her. I no no kill her. She she has to tell me where my wish is. There's no wish. There is. There's no wish. I think that she could be a good friend. Okay. She well, just tried to poison I, us. I, us I'm, I'm going to knock her out then. How about I knock her out and then throw her in the corner? Kunai, you, I mean, uh, Wobbler, you can stay. And then we'll all leave with the real Ava and Shatheed. No, let me talk to her first. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, they why? Why? Why because... are you putting all of us at risk? <laughs> no, because she's so she's totally cool. I bet it's, it'll be fine. Like, okay. Like, hags are, they're, you know, she's just mad because her plan didn't work out. But, you know, like, you guys can go what back. Was her plan? What, what was her plan? What was her plan? Well, Clearly to kill you. And, like, <laughs> now you're still alive. So I would be ticked, too. You know, everything went wrong. She's just in an emotional state. Let me talk to her. Let me talk her down. We're going to have, I don't know. I, we can have. Okay, you can talk to her after she wakes up. I'm gonna go. But I don't know, maybe, what if What if we just all talk to her now? Because I don't want to stay behind with her. And that means that you have to, what if she is bad? And then we do have to kill her. Oh, I will be able to kill her on my own. So I'm just oh. considering all the possibilities here. I'm just trying to be, you know, trying to be on top of, you know, um, strategizing. Oh, uh, okay, I, I see. Being on top of strategizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you real, mean? <laughs> real plan making we got there. You're a real playmaker. I, I like it. I, you know, I, I love to... <laughs> I, I do my best. Uh, so we're going to be on top of strategizing here. And we're just going to... We're going to... Let's have a conversation with her. Um, I think we can. Okay. You gonna, are you going to try to talk to her? How about this? I, I'm so, going to kill her. 
If she if she breaks out of can I cast hold person again? Um Or do I have you... one hold person? Uh, how many spell slots have you used by the way? Have you been keeping track? I have um I haven't been keeping track, but I know which ones I've used. I, I used Bless, Purify Drink, Protection from Evil and Good, uh, Guiding Bolt. So I have none of the first level, right? Because that's four. Okay, so you, I think you have second level. You have second level spot. You probably have two second levels left, probably. I have, yeah, I believe I have two, which both would be hold person. Okay, and you used I, one I, like, hold person. So I think you I think you may have... Okay. Go ahead and cast. You can have One it. left? <laughs> you can have it. Okay. Okay, you get away from her, and I cast hold. I cast hold person on, on her. Um, however, cold person does not work. She is not humanoid. No, I have no Damn. strategy. Okay, um, we're killing her. Yep. Um, I guess it's murder time. Uh, also, I want uh, to I'll go have you around know. her house and loot. <laughs> you can if you like. Uh, also, um, let's see. She's e reaching closer and closer to breaking out of um Ra uh, Rajar's grip. I will oh. kill her. So, ma'am, we... what is your wait, real name? Wait. No, it's okay. Wait, wait, let's let's feed her the potion and get her constipated so she is unable to move. And yeah, you can so ask she her poops questions. all over Rad. Yeah, and then <laughs> while that happens, you can ask her questions and stuff like that because she's like debuffed by constipation and stuff. And then I can go around and collect goodies around her cottage and. We'll Maybe be on our way. You are so good at this. Okay. Game. Maybe you're so All good right. at this. <laughs> All right. How about this? Oh, is you, it? You, you, you feed her the potion no, you're good. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can, can I okay. can I yeah. roll can I roll to immediately let go of the hag? Well, guys, grab Ava and Shafid and run guys, out. Do you guys not know what constipation means? Nothing comes out. Nothing comes out when you're constipated. Yeah, she won't poop herself. <laughs> she's not gonna she's poop. Gonna she's, poop. Pain. she's gonna be a pain though, but she's not gonna poop. Ma'am, I'll give you an enema later. Just trust me and don't kill me. Whoops. <laughs> what? Yep. It, real what? friends give each other enemas, all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so are you are you leading with this plan, uh, crew? Are you planning are you rolling with this plan? Are you feeding her the potion? Um Why? Oh, shit, I, I, guess so. I just spit everywhere. I guess I don't have Wait. any other way to talk to her. Why why do we talk to her? Like why? Because I no, like her. She need time to loot. What do you mean? We can just kill her, and then we have literally all the time in the world to loot. We can even find the, where the other okay, people were okay. taken. Because we cannot decide, I will roll a d20. Odd, we do, uh, we kill her immediately. Even, we constipate her. Okay? Okay. Sounds yeah. fair? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is a 12. We are going to constipate her. Yay. Holy fucking shit. Man, please <laughs> drink this. I'm so, trying to save your life. Uh, roll, roll, uh, do you want to force her mouth? How do you want to do this? Do you want to, like, convince her to drink it? Because she knows what it is. I would prefer to do, persu like, con convincing. No, she, I can't like, deceive open her. her mouth by force. I feel like I would be a pretty good at persuading okay, her. If you want can to I try that? If you want to persuade, you can go ahead. And if that doesn't work, Seed, you can use a strength check. Uh, persuasion Ooh. fails. Do you want to use uh, strength, okay. uh, Seed? Yeah, he's going to want to do that. Um... I have oh, low strength. Okay. Okay. You, you try it. Wait, um, a wizard? Oh, yep. Yeah, nope. That's a, that's a, that's okay. Even with the the correction on it, yeah. That's that's uh, nothing. What the fuck uh, are we doing? <laughs> uh, so so Ra Radriar, <laughs> please, fo please please force me to hack the constipation me me medicine. You want I to just kill her? <laughs> you want to force me her the the constipation potion? All right. What am I rolling? What am I rolling here? Yeah. Yeah. More hacks? Why do you care about this one hack? This hack takes a fucking guy. Like. What, what do I have to roll? What do I have to roll, roll to strength. feed her the, the potion? Roll strength! Okay, roll I'm rolling strength! Roll strength. Why do y'all suck? Ah! <laughs> what the heck? We We're done. dying! <laughs> We're dying! We Why are you roll strength? Someone get it over her mouth! Why do you roll strength? <laughs> Someone roll strength! <laughs> By this one strength! Roll strength! Okay, okay! Oh my gosh! Okay, that's a saving throw, Mori! Roll me a check! Roll me a check! Uh, a saving throw? No, it's not a saving throw! It's a check! It's a check! Go to the left! Go to the left! Oh the my big, god. The big strength! The big strength! Oh my god! Let's finally go! Let's go! Thank okay, you! Let's go. And so... Yay! And so, a wobbler approaches the hag with the, the, the glowing blue boolade and tries to get her to drink it and like, just, just... Like, no, tries to convince her. 
But she knows exactly what this is. The hack she made the potion to fool people into entering the maze. She knows exactly what that is. And so, uh, she doesn't drink it. Um, Sieg just kind of, like, pulls on her lip and tries to get her to open. Of course, it doesn't work. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, Rajiar attempts to, like, stroke her lip, like, with Riz, like, baby girl, open your mouth, and tries to force it open. Does not work. Um, lastly, <laughs> lastly, Moray finally gets it, like, it gets, gets his strongest pair of rogue gloves on and pries her mouth open and dumps the contents of the potion into her mouth, which she swallows. And Drink almost... the forbidden Kool-Aid, bitch! <laughs> Drink it! And as you say that, Amelia, her face twists and contorts. She's extremely uncomfortable. Her tummy is a gurgling. She is not happy. She's basically incapacitated. Well, she's conscious, okay, but she's not moving. Roger, you can let her go now. Mm -hmm. I, so, I let her go. Her tummies mm -hmm. are rumbling. Tell me, tell me your real name, ma'am. <laughs> tell me your, your true name. It's none of your fucking business. Ugh, my stomach hurts. No. She's ungrateful. Kill her. I I can yeah. make a potion. Wait, I probably can't make a potion. I will I will help you make a potion after this to to help cure your constipation and or give you a suppository and or give you an enema to help you with your tummy pain. If you just if you <laughs> would if you are if you decide to never ever ever hurt another person ever again and you and i make organic potions forever and i'll come over and visit every other tuesday <laughs> promise no we're not doing that again. we so, are not so doing that as you're speaking yeah. to her she's like no way i'll, I'll never saw it with uh, what this little but, creatures like you you should just become a part <laughs> of my stew and she's, she's obviously so in pain. <laughs> obviously, like, deeply. She sounds pain. like British Eric Carpenter. She, she... <laughs> <laughs> no, but you However, can change. You can change, Hank. You guys. Well, she... Oh, she's a new idea. Uh, roll, roll what? Just... I'm sorry. Oh. Guy, what is it? What if we kill her while the lore? While, while the lore? What if we kill her, but, um, yeah. instead of just, you know, killing her, we repurpose her parts? So like her skin can be like leather for like you know organic leather oh. wallet and and, and <laughs> we can turn I don't want to like turn her into our anti big potion propaganda. Yeah, she's like uh, orc jerky. <laughs> Actually, I'll hold, consider hold that. that at the back hold of my that head. thought, Wobble. Are you trying to convince her to be good? Yeah. Roll persuasion. It's gonna no, be a very, it's gonna be a very hard one, and she's also pissed at you, so you can roll with disadvantage. Okay. You don't okay. know what you're doing. Are we eating her? I'm trying to save your life. I'm trying to save you. Be good and you will live. That's perception. Oh. Persuasion. Persuasion. Where is it? It's, um, oh. it should be towards the bottom. Persuasion. Oh, Yo! plus 20. Okay. Uh, she's like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, she, she looks you in the eye and she's thinking about it. Hmm. <clears throat> but I must confess something to you. I work for big, yeah. for big potion. <laughs> Kill her. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I misunderstood. I cast True Strike. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I cast. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What am I? What am I killing her with? Um. I can do Spirit Guardians kill or. They can. Spirit do Guardians just... does a lot of damage. It does. I I cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Uh, uh, on see, her. what are you doing? I wait my turn. They can cast first. Oh no, I'm, I'm just, there's no initiative because you're all launching a, a surprise attack on her. So uh, there's no initiative order. You can just attack whenever. So what are you, what are you sending? Oh. No, 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 I have to because after she's dead, I want to cast False Life. Why? So, so I can res her. I mean... <laughs> oh, uh, uh, if, I mean, uh, click on... Hold on, let me, let, me, let me see False Life. Oh, does it work like that? Uh, let me you go can check the spell. I'm the cleric. Don't I, no, don't I do necromancy? Uh, let me oh, double check. Does it work like that? If not, I take it back. You're gonna bring her back as, as, as like a, as your pawn. Yeah. Um, mm. it, it does bring someone back, but it does not make them loyal to you, per se. Oh. Mm. Uh. Okay, so uh, whatever. I it's cast not... magic cannon, bitch slapper. Also, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> magic cannon. Mori, what are you doing? I, I'm I'm shocked that we haven't killed her sooner. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I don't know why the fuck we're torturing her by like making her drink potions and then and then we're like an attempt can, to spare her I, I life. I can fix you. I can fix you. An She's attempt. like, nope. 
And then, and that, that now, now we made up our mind that we need to kill her. Yeah, she has to go. Before, oh, ma'am. Yeah. Before you go, I have one last request, and I will. We will make it quick. No, you can't kill what, her like this. Don't the, talk to her. Was. <laughs> she doesn't have rights. You're torturing her. What happened? No, no, no. Torture? I have. I have one last, one last request. And if you tell the truth, I will make it quick. Is the wish real? No, you fucking idiot. <laughs> he just, he just like. He... As painful as possible. <laughs> Imagine I've already given doing? her a painful death. Imagine, what are you doing? I, I, I cast the uh, Choose Strike. I cast Choose Strike. I think Choose Strike is just a buffer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, wait, oh, I cast Choose Strike and then I'm supposed to attack, right? You can, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'd like to attack. Is that a bonus action or a regular? Oh, it's size, whatever. It's, it's baby mode. Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, what are you attacking with? Just like a plain, a plain pally attack? Divine Smite? Oh. <laughs> Mm, I don't know what abilities I have actually. Divine have, Smite like, is a fun go to. I have like four weapons apparently. God, no wonder you're so fucking heavy. <laughs> yeah. So. Make it painful. Do it for me. I have a, I have a lot of stuff. Can I can I can I, can I can I use my greatsword? You may. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just click on the greatsword, right? Yeah. Heck yeah. She's fucking Let's go. Oh my okay, god. So all of you, I'm just going to let it all slide because there's no combat here. So she's on the floor. She physically cannot defend herself because she's incapacitated from severe constipation. And so Wobbler, Sieg, Mori, you just got in the corner, just mind broken, a so upset there's no actual wish. And Ragiar all attack her at once and she gets fucking eviscerated. <laughs> there's a, a <laughs> fine red piece left where she was lying down previously. <laughs> <laughs> and no. Ava in the corner is kind of like... Sneezing? I'm sorry? Can we use the red... Can we repurpose... Can we loot the red goop? Yeah, sure, go for it. And so, like, okay. Sieg is bottling the red paste. In the meanwhile, Ava's like, These are my heroes. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and she looks like that surprised Patrick meme with, like, the cat in her arms. Like, and it's like, what the fuck? And so you Wait. successfully have killed the hag, and um, Ava divulges on the as you as you're um, like you know standing there, and uh, Sieg is indeed bottling the viscera of of the hag <laughs> into various <laughs> vials and bottles. Um, Ava does divulge that like um, she's discovered that the hag was luring people via false pretense, uh, saying that there's like a magical maze I'll grant you a wish if you can solve it, and using it to lure people and um, eat them basically. And so, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I fall, I fall to my knees. Wait, so was the food on the table? I stared down. It was poisoned. Yeah. But, but was it people? It was also people. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't take Suckers. a bite. Suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat it. <laughs> okay, so before, before you head back to, before you finish off this mission, does anything you want to do with the, with the hag's hut? Burn. I want to uh, loot it. Burn it. Loot it and yeah, burn it. Yeah, the potions should, do need to be left we? behind, and we do need to set it on fire. Uh, sh sh should we not look around for the other uh, victims? Because there were apparently other other people that were uh, kidnapped. They're, they're very dead. They're, burned they're down. extremely dead. Okay. All <laughs> we right. Were fuck eating them. them. Blow the house up. I believe. Okay. So no, wait, uh, actually, we gotta look for treasure. So as Seek loots loot. it, as as y'all like w those who do want to loot it, a wonder is around. You don't find a whole lot. Lots of human remains. Maybe like fifty gold. Not a whole lot. Hags have no need for cash. Um, especially when they're uh -huh. living in, in the fucking middle of the woods. Um, however, you do find a collection of black t-shirts that say Hag Love on it. It appears that she wanted oh. to sell them on her Etsy, but they never took off and it really pissed her off. And so you have a collection of her one. One. What kind of size do you want? That, what that size? That'll make great toilet paper for emergency. You can't Thank flush you. cloth, More. You said I was going to flush it. He doesn't okay, flush. He doesn't wipe either. What? No, 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 no. You, you wipe with it and then you throw it away. He's selling it to other people because he doesn't wipe. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? What do you mean? He's, he's making toilet paper for other people. Oh, no, yeah, it's for me. Oh. It's so for, you sorry, do wipe. sorry, guys. It's for us. It's for us. Yes. Huh, I guess I'm traveling. <laughs> Okay, so yes, he does you, wipe. you successfully loot the house of whatever little belongings the hag had, um, and then you set the place ablaze with what? A fireball? Firebolt? 
arson, whatever, yeah. whatever potion. Because it's um, very flammable. Um, There's I potions that are flammable I in there. I want to do, uh, I want to do fire. The big one. The big one. The big one. Oh, it fireball. Really the big fire. one. Yeah, fireball. a fireball. Okay, so like, uh, Sadiq just stands back, just like you know, claps her hand together, just like. Fireball! And the fucking place explodes. It just... It's like, from like the village over, like the other village where you initially started your journey, you just see like a tiny little mushroom cloud off in the distance. <laughs> Explosion! <laughs> yeah! And like, Good as, job. And as the building burns, you just see Sig just smiling with a menace, like the, uh, the, the reflection of fire in her eyes. She's just so happy. She's so lit about this. She's so happy. And mind you, it was also like officially... Done. Ava's mortified of you, but um, would you like to head back to the village and return her to her people? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's the good oh move. God. It's time to take Ava home. Also, mind you, uh, Rad, she is somewhat uh, impressed by your bravery and your riz earlier. So during the walk back, she just kind of, you know, like, you know, leans into you a little bit and asks to hold your hand. Do you accept? Huh. <laughs> you hear I that, win! L? I win! <laughs> you hear that, Al? This is my perfect victory! Yes, I do accept! <laughs> he alone is... <laughs> I alone am the honored one. <laughs> He's just the girl. <laughs> and so, like, Ava just pretends she does not hear that laugh. She's, she sees an obvious red flag, but she's so enamored that she just ignores it entirely. And so, uh, while Valor, Sieg, Moray, Rajar, Ava, and the cat Shathid all wander back to the village, you return to her house where, um, where her father has been waiting this entire time. And they're, he's overjoyed. They have an emotional reunion. They're hugging and, you know, exchanging words they of affection. almost don't notice the piss in the corner, the uh, broken uh, window. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. And so <laughs> later, the later. village, the villagers who have been hiding this entire time come out of their houses celebrating. And you're, you're celebrated as heroes of the village. However, um, after a while, um, you know, y'all uh, decide to retire at an inn nearby the village for the evening. And um, Ava's alone in her cottage. She finds a mysterious like pee puddle in her in her cottage and, and thinks to herself, "Wait, are there other wild animals stealing kids and, and kidnapping people? I have to investigate." And she begins no. her search for the uh, the serial cottage pisser. The no, no, end. that was the cat. That was the cat. Oops, the end. The oh, end. And then we, we did all, it. We all Yay. travel in the sunset, and I say out loud, "Guys, you know what? Maybe I'm not so sad." Maybe the wish was the friends I made along today. We're not friends because you're a human. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> I concur. Thank you. Oh my God. God. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of your bravery and defeating for profit, big flask, big tincture, big infusion, big potion. Never trust the toxic byproducts of herbology. Thank you so much. Another another day on the right side of history. Maybe <laughs> true. Maybe while while Valor is going to give birth to a worm one day. Yeah, you know, honestly, I was so. And I'll close. raise them. I was like, well, like Kuna, I'm not gonna lie. I was going to joke around and have you have a minus one to all rolls because of the tapeworm in your stomach, but I was like, you know, <laughs> but you're rolling so low the entire time. I felt bad. I just let it slide. I, I, I roll. I was really rolling so sad every <laughs> roll. I like so rarely did I get like above like a like a ten. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, the worm, maybe the the worm, it wasn't so bad. If it grew more, it would have. And my rolls weren't so pathetic. Like years, <laughs> like days later, Wobbler gives birth to a tapeworm baby. <laughs> I'm going to teach them all it? about organic. <laughs> <laughs> Together, you'll, you'll bring down the big potion. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm glad, did you guys have fun with that? I hope you liked it. It was, it was so fun. It was yeah. great. It was, it was great. You. I want to do it again. Thank you for yeah. this. Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah. Thank, no, y'all did great. Me to D &D. Of course. No. Like, there's a couple of newbies. Actually, most of y'all are newbies to D and D. Y'all did wonderfully. Cause chat, I'll tell you what. I told them before the stream started. Like, hey guys, if you're not comfortable with roleplay, speak in third person. You don't have to roleplay. Like, you know, don't do anything. To, like, you don't feel comfortable doing. And like. Within five minutes, we're sipping puddles and getting tapeworms. So I think I think y'all got onto it very fast. Y'all did wonderfully. Y'all did really, really good. Good job. It's, 
it's easy with a great DM who had a great story and made the world immersive. I just yeah, fell into the I world. A lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just late. Yeah, it is late. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Okay, I do this in every D and D game. What's your favorite part? What was the favorite role play bit that y'all did? Me personally, it's it's Rajar going nah both. <laughs> Give me both of them. <laughs> nah both. <laughs> Give me both. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! The when you mad lived the hag being for being four big big potion, I was like, oh, oh. That was I my favorite part, actually. <laughs> this I have, the plot I twist is that big potion was a true enemy all along. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That I, was that was the best. I, I just I loved I loved uh, Kudai's dedication to that to that bit. Like I was just, mm -hmm. it's, it's like, no. What if what if what if she's uh, what if she's an enemy to big potion? I I need to know. That was. Oh god. No, she is a big potion. <laughs> she she's she's the she's a backbone. I just I didn't so one thing I knew really well about my character was was the tinfoil hat. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, oh, what, more, what about you, Wilson and, and Vivi, your favorite part? Um my favorite part was probably the moment we spawn, we immediately started trolling. I I thought that was really funny. Yeah, I um, like how I like how Kunai's first thought was to sip literal puddles. Like, oh, yeah. yes, I just the tested for the toxins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think my favorite part though is kind of broad um, and a little bit uh, corny, but I think uh, I think everyone played well with each other. Mm. Like uh, mm -hmm. like uh, we all played tennis together. Like you know, hitting the ball back and forth, and it felt it felt uh, real. You know. Yeah, the yeah. Thing, so like I always good. say this, I feel mm -hmm. like um, interpersonal chemistry between the players can make or break games. So that's why I always bring in specific parties together because I think y'all will bounce off well. I still, I think my favorite Wilson bit was the fact he's he just wants that wish so badly, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it was, it was so, so yeah. convinced that the wish existed <laughs> against every odd. Everyone stopped believing the wish like like an hour ago. <laughs> hey, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you still believe in that shit? I don't know, I just... I was like, it would be kind of fucking funny though if I do that the whole time. And my character's whole purpose is that he still believes that it's real. He wants the wish so badly. It has to be real. it's clearly fucking fake the whole time. I also love how Vivi just wanted arson the entire time. Oh, it's like yeah. the most minor inconvenience could be solved with just setting everything on fire. Just by humans, like human right violations can fix everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I see. I can't open right, door. right? It's all elf rights, so yeah. Oh my god. Good boy. <laughs> hey, who cares Thank about Osha know. when you're not a human? Oh my god. Yeah. Guys. yeah. I like guys. how Viv Vivi had like three plans. Every time we had like a new problem, a new obstacle in their way, it was like, okay, I try to do something good. Okay, then I'll try something risky, and it's like, oh, that shit's not. Yeah, just burn it down. That that's it like our cycle. It was definitely <laughs> the 180 between excellent what plan that no one expected <laughs> yeah it was either burn it down or deeply thought out plan that is like crucial to making sure we are safe in the situation <laughs> it, it, it was so funny because <laughs> vivi had like full either full murder hobo mode or actual like for example going around the back was not something i planned for and i was like oh shit, i didn't think about people investigating the rest of the hut before entering and then also like mm. using the cat to sniff out the cat was originally... So there's an alternate ending because it's hinted that the hag likes cats. If you chose to negotiate a trade to return Ava to the village, you could treat her cat. Or... Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh. I still wanted to eat the cat. Yeah, and then the, the hag would just eat more people. True. Yeah, and True. the cat. Yeah. Well, depending on how so. selfish you were, if you wanted to get rid of the hag or just roll with her, you could also um, riz her, because actually, I was, uh, I was tempted to see how far uh, Vanta would take it, because you could actually riz her and have her join your party. Oh my god, I really. Oh. I, yeah, she, no, fuck that. I didn't want to. Big Pharma! She, she, yeah, she, um, she, she couldn't have joined. She, if she, if uh, she had uh, been just just a bit better looking, I, I uh, probably would have I, I don't think she aged very it's well, you know? what's inside that matters. She was beautiful inside. Yeah, apparently, like, it's a red course, viscera. So apparently, it's viscera that's inside of her, because that now Vivi's going to sell in the black market. <laughs> Yeah, she's a whole bunch of goop now. She, what was inside <laughs> yeah. was very valuable. She's in the just a red so. mist of where she used to stand. Also, I'll show you guys this part because <laughs> um, the maze portion. Uh, funny enough, the only you only missed one thing. 
there was one more oh. item. Um, there's one more item in here. So let me hide. Let me take off the cover. So in this corner, you actually literally oh, barely oh. missed it. There's a backpack right here, and it had oh. it had a gun. No! <laughs> oh my god! It had an I actual firearm. <laughs> I missed the gun. And I was the one leading. This is so I sad. The gun. <laughs> so I could have killed someone. Because I, I was, because the thing is, I had either a gun or a, an extra scroll of um of a fireball in there. Because at that point, I was keeping tabs because I put that near the end because I knew y'all probably blow through a lot of spells from the beginning because you had I think a lot of spell casters but not a lot of spell slots. And so I was ready mm. to like. If you're out of spells, you're not out of shells, okay? <laughs> I got you, bro. No! <laughs> you, were, you were planning for us. Yeah, I was oh playing. In case, my. in case you're running out of spells or if you need it, if you're lucky enough, you actually find the backpack. And, and it's so funny because you were right there. You walked right past I it. Right. I bet you can so actually funny. kind I feel like you can kind of see the... Maybe, just barely uh, can't. Just barely. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> so sad. I, I rushed us past... The most valuable item in the game. Yeah, and then this was My the uh, the correct route around. I had uh, this open on this side to make sure you're going the right way. Oh, okay. Good job, though. though that was you're very good. The maze, but I mean, to be fair, running at the walls is the most effective way to get past any kind of maze. But like, oh. I've always thought this mechanic was fun, so I hope you liked it. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. It was good. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't know what I was doing, but. No, Thank you for BB, honestly, you, you did fabulously. You did really, really well. Cause you're you're like halfway between a DM's nightmare from like the murder hobbling, but also the DM saving grace, because you had generally the best gameplay ideas. <laughs> like the actual problem real. solver. And so it's like true and real, BB was kind of the MVP. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I agree. No, I just <laughs> want to murder hobo <laughs> with the thoughts. We we knew to start attacking that the the the, the hold that hag when because you found Ava in the back, hog died. <laughs> like, otherwise, we would have just been kind of like, what the? Well, Having to be fair, continued was... eating people. It, to be fair, she would have eventually gone her way out, but that'd be uh, three more turns down the conversation. At that point, the hag might have mm. attacked first, so it, it depends. I have, like, yeah. I have plenty and plan Bs for everything. My notes are 14 pages long. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Mm. Thank you for writing all of that. Oh no, oh no, y'all y'all played, played really story. well. Cause actually, I went ahead and I apologized to both chat and y'all. Like, guys, the stream might be short because I didn't write a whole lot of notes. Cause I usually write up to twenty pages, but I only wrote like thirteen, fourteen this time around. It's double spaced mm. because like my hands are still uh, hurting. Yeah. Um, but like y'all did such a good job role playing that it filled up time perfectly. This is your standard <laughs> like length for a, a one shot. So y'all did really, really well. I couldn't ask for any better players. Y'all did amazing. Yay! Thank you Thank so you. much for hosting. Yes. Of course, Thank of course. You. And oh, I don't want to keep y'all. I don't want to keep y'all too long. So, there's any final words you'd like to say to chat before you before I let you go? Never, ever, ever fall for big potion, big tincture. <laughs> Make sure that you're a free thinker. Never trust the, the toxic byproducts of, of big herbology. Make sure you're, you're watching out for yourself and testing everything and, and running cleansing uh, spells. And don't don't drink the uh, don't drink the puddle water. Don't drink the puddle water. Don't That's drink also the, the fancy the fancy blue Kool Aid either. <laughs> it might just give oh, you some you. some wacky constipation. Anybody else? Last word? Final word? Pardon me? Threaten people with firebolt. Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, arson. That's it. Yeah. Um, when in doubt, threaten people with arson. There is always hope in the dark, guys. Even when people <laughs> keep telling you there's no wish, you know, you can make. There is no right, purpose Walmart for you to keep Himmel. going. Just, uh... <laughs> Just what do you mean Walmart? Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, I think Mori takes psych what damage from that. I think, I think I think Mori takes psych damage from that. I think Mori's been constantly taking psych damage this entire game. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I've never. <laughs> okay, wish free run. Shut up, man. Oh my Fine. gosh. Fine. We're both. <laughs> Damn, y'all are vicious. Knockoffs. Y'all are How about vicious. We... How about Mr. Bringer? Well, I just want to clarify something uh, as mm -hmm. my parting words. Um, so I, I noticed that some people were pointing out that uh, I, I expressed my dislike of humans and my oh, dislike no. of Moe Karanta specifically, but then they say that I'm contradicting myself uh, by expressing my, my like for Ava, 
Well, I just want to say, I'm not just a shitty person that dislikes a specific race. I'm the shitty. I'm a shitty person that dislikes a specific race, and I make an exception for the ones that I like and call them one of the good ones. No, that's, that's how terrible the person Rager is. That's how terrible Rager is. No. 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 That's he's how laughing. awful Rage VR is, okay? Mega. It's my character! He's laughing Mega. dramatically! Let me be my character! Rage how could you? Let me be my character. You're a human GM! <laughs> She's a human! Well, to be fair, I, just, I purposely made her kind of a baddie. I made her really cute, so like, I can understand that. I made her kind of cute. I'm making the Personally. exception for... <laughs> Rad VR couldn't help himself. She's... She was cute, She's, so, she's so hot! You can't die, <laughs> you're so sexy. Run, Ava, run. <laughs> run, Ava. Radriar is canceled. <laughs> Radriar ends, ends the playthrough. With Radriar, Radriar has been kicked longer. from our party since he was too problematic. Um, we he's are your, seeking a new paladin. He's been replaced Which, with Dr. Rat Lord. <laughs> oh my god. All right, not... I'm, I'm looking just... to head out. Thank... Yeah, thanks for Thank joining, you so everyone. Much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. Aya. Bye. Bye. Yeah, y'all take it easy. Thank you for having fun bye with me. I'll see you around. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so fun. My face physically hurts from smiling. That was very funny. <laughs> that was great. That was great. I feel like um, Rad Rad would definitely have a podcast for like dude bros who think that they can call women females. Um, but that's just me. Personally. I can close my other laptop with my TM notes. Oh, goodness gracious. Wow, what a fun, what a fun game. Yeah, and my apologies. I, I started so late because I had, like, typing my DM notes took forever. My hands are still kind of wounded. And so, like, my motor function is not super great in my hands. It's getting better. The infection is uh, subsiding. So it's, like, not actively oozing pus anymore, which is nice. Uh, but it does hurt. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you had fun with it. Yeah! <laughs> so thank you so much to Vanta, Wilson, um, uh, 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 Kunai, and Vivi for their fabulous work. It made everything so, so easy. Everything was so smooth with them. I was worried about the game length, but they're so deep in their, in their roleplay that it extended the gameplay by a lot. And it was so easy to work with them, so... It was a fabulous game. I'm super, super happy. And another great one for the books. Yeah! Yippee! Yeah, yay! I'm glad you had fun with it! Thank you, thanks, Isaiah! Thank you for the silpa! Thank you! Thank you for tipping your DM! Thank you very much! Thank you, thank you! Usually my players tip me with chicken nuggets. <laughs> Isaiah, thank you, much. thank you for the silpa! Thank you for tuning in! Thank you, thank you! Tell me you're planning more. Oh, yeah! Yeah, absolutely! It's like, D&D will always be a mainstay program here at the IMRI channel. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. This is that uh, d and requires so much brain time, brain effort, and brain juice to organize and bring together. And so, um, it's very, it's tedious to have to get everything to come together to work. And, um, also I've just been like, I've, I'm in a weird funk lately. My hands are killing me. It's a lot of stuff, but I finally came together and we finally got this going. So I'm really happy. But still, thank you for the Zupa! Thanks for the stream, I happy rolling. Thank you, likewise, happy rolling to you too! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Yeah, I'm glad y'all had fun with it! No, like, I, I, I love d and I, I love d and so much, thank you! Uh, GM, thank you for all the Zupas! That was from, like, the previous week, thank you so much! Um, John Warlock, Mr. Sinister, Izzy Zabaka, Marie, Vivicor, uh, thank you for all the gifted members! Also, I'm pretty sure that... Mini Scooter dropped off like a hundred some odd gifted memberships. So welcome new maidens. If y'all got a gifted membership from Mini Scooter, John Warlock, Mr. Sinister, Izzy Zabaka, Marie, or Vivicor, make sure you thank them properly. Um, additionally, uh, welcome to the maidenship to Demon Leon, uh, Trevor Ricketts. Good to see you. And welcome back. Happy six months, Chris Coggins. Good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, Niji Knight, thank you for the Supa. Voitan, thank you for the Supa. Wavalor has been chosen by the Worm. She's now. Quasat Quasat's Hydrek. No, she just had a tapeworm from a puddle. Uh, Shumadera, welcome back. Happy three months. Thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, I was like, I was like, Vanta, don't say, don't say anything cancelable, please. I beg of you. <laughs> um, a Cappy Cat, welcome back. Thank you, one, one, thank you for the one month. This is so fun, and thank you, Ayaf, and everyone. Uh, so many laughs. I'm glad you guys liked it. Thank you. Um, Mrs. Sinister, thank you for the super tossing a coin for our favorite, our wonderful Dork Master. It's Dungeon Master. Bitch. Damn. Can't have shit in Detroit. What the fuck? I was, uh, this is a lot of fun. I'm really, really happy with this. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think, um, no, the players made this so easy to work with, though. The players did a bang up job. Absolutely. Absolutely did an amazing job. Hmm. Yeah. Best girls don't. Yeah, I drew this 15 minutes before stream started. <laughs> I had to rush. I had to rush to get things right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, I'll have y'all know that, like, um, just, again, I, I, I said this spoiler at the beginning of, um, of, um, the previous D&D game with, uh, Vare, Hex, Scarla, Melical. Um, remember, we are role-playing as characters. We do not express the same opinions as our characters, okay? It's, like, it's role-play. It's all a joke. Nothing is serious. If there's any kind of, like, real life um equivalent or any kind of weird coincidences it's it's role play okay we're just messing around none of it is serious we're all speaking through characters in case anyone misinterprets that remember that this is DD. nothing is real we're imagining fighting dragons it's not it's it's not like that okay yeah yeah okay yeah yeah so it'll be fu it's, it's fine okay it's it's all one big hee hee ha ha like we're in a world where we're rising up hags. So, of course. Of course, it's just silly roleplay, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's so good to bring back D&D because D&D really is one of my comfort uh, content because um, it's like... I, I, I just... I fucking love D&D. One of my biggest goals from joining Niji EN was doing my D&D stuff. And so I'm so happy that I'm able to do this, like... So frequently, it makes me so happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. People can roleplay some whack ass characters, and it does not reflect on them because it's a fucking character. Okay? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think y'all generally understand the idea. I think it's in case someone misinterprets it, for someone maybe who's not acquainted with the art of the action of roleplay and D and D and TTRPG, if you don't understand it, it's it is what it is. It's all roleplay. It's all not serious. Okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, welcome back. Happy 15 months. Thank you for another awesome D&D stream with our gooby dorky DM. You all did amazing between this D&D game and your new cover. We're eating so good. Aww, thank you, Jed. Did you like my, my shameless promotion? <laughs> um, Vivi Core, thank you for the super Hag love, indeed. Hag love, hag love. Listen, I love playing a meta magic silent spell sorcerer. I love sniping people from a thousand meters away with not without engaging combat. And I love pallies. I love meta magic, silent sorcerers, and pallies. Okay? Mm hmm. Yeah, Haglo. Yeah, Haglo merch. Guys, I'm officially selling um, Haglo t shirts for the low, low cost of $69.69. You too can have a Haglo t shirt. I was trying to find a good PNG for a hag, and I could only find one for an orc, so just imagine she's a hag, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello, 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 hello? Hello? I think, I think YouTube couldn't handle my hag t-shirt sales. Guys, like... Guys, it's, it's... Guys, guys we can't just crash stream because we don't want to sell my hag love t-shirts. It's hagophobic. It's hagophobic. Honestly. Can you believe how hagophobic this is? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Come on, the hags deserve respect too, you know? Hags deserve respect. Okay? Yeah, hags deserve respect. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't handle my... Uh, YouTube does not want me making money from my side gig selling hag t-shirts on my Etsy store. So, um... Yeah. This is what you... Guys, for the low, low price of $69.69, YouTube can own a hag love t-shirt. So cheap, so affordable. <laughs> Icon, welcome back to Heavy Five Months. I didn't even know this was today. Glad I was able to make a wonderful job, Aya. Here's some more. Love you. Lots and lots, Aya. We need high glove shirts. Of course! 
And they're on sale right now, chat. Get your, pre order your hag shirts right now. I encourage it. Go for it. Or pre order your hag love shirts. Hmm. <laughs> I can't believe Big Potion's trying to bring down my stream. Ah! I can't. I can't believe this. I, I can't. I can't believe this. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't believe this. I can't. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe that YouTube is hagophobic. Ugh, imagine being hagophobic. That's ridiculous. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, um, I don't have, like, my DM's notes for this are kind of short. Um, luckily, the players do not derail that badly. So, um, luckily, um, my notes were mostly accurate. And I only had to improv a couple of things. Um, but honestly, usually my notes are way more detailed than this. Um, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's hard wrangling is very active players too with my bare minimum notes uh, Let's see Welcome back to the meeting ship. Let me close this one anymore. Let me go ahead and close that Rule 20 uh, Thank you for welcome back. Happy 11 months. I always love your D&D streams. This is so much fun Thank you all for making my closing shift so fun. Of course. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, BP, thank you for the super down payment for the Haglove t-shirt Hag love. What, what can I say? Hag love. Hag love. <laughs> thank you for the soup. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sometimes less is more. Have enough plan. Exactly. I used to hard over plan my uh, games, but now I'm just like, well, if I ha if I have to just improv it, then so be it. If I have to improv, I have to improv. So it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm but I love, I love, a sh I love some good old-fashioned D&D shenanigans. Um, I would love to see an almost full and pop D&D stream. Honestly, ooh, it'll be messy. I mean... Uh, I, I need to be a way more experienced DM before I can start full and popping entire one-shots. That's a big ask. That's a very, very big ask. I'm still, I still consider myself an amateur DM myself. Full improv, that's, that's, that's commitment. That's a hard commitment, so we'll see. I might work my way up there at some point, but as of right now, I need my, my cheat sheet, my, my notes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't have a whole lot to add in terms of the post-game notes. Um, so that's all I really have for today. Yeah, that's all I really got. I'm glad that y'all had fun. Thank you for all the gifted memberships. So many memberships. Guys, we are constantly unlocking new emotes. I think I'm expecting um, to receive new emotes in the next couple of days. So the temporary ones will be taken out and replaced with actual emotes. Um, so additionally, uh, next week's schedule is mostly collabs. I need time to rest. And there's also membership karaoke next week. Um, in terms of that, I don't have anything hard planned for next week. Um, but you'll see it when the schedule comes out. Um, let me say. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, Karen B, thank you for the super. Kazuma does not approve. Who's Kazuma? Someone I should know about? Are they also a hag? Are they also a hag? Was oh my gosh, no. At first, I thought I thought of having the concept be like um they tried to riz the hag like the entire time. But I was like, uh I don't think it's, it'll be kind of annoying if everything's just a, still a, a series of charisma checks. And plus, charisma and roleplay um, games is already kind of overpowered because roleplay is very charisma based, anyways. And so, um, I'm glad. I I'm glad I went with the route that I did. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I'm kind of super. Oh. Can I have a controversial yet brave take? I, I, uh, I don't like Kanesuba very much. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm not a super big fan of Kanesuba. It's fine. It's not for me. Because I don't like Isekai. And it's like, everyone's like, it's so funny. I chuckled once. So it's not for me. Okay? Me personally. It's not for me. Okay? I don't like Kanesuba a whole lot. Anura, welcome back. Happy six months. Thank you for the stream, Aya. I love the chaotic D&D sessions you have with other livers. Keep up the good work, Dungeon Master Aya. Oh, thank you, Nura. Thank you so much. Isa, welcome back. Have one month. I didn't know. I don't know much about D and D, but this was so fun. Thank you, Aya. I did amazing. Oh, thank you. You see, I really want 
The reason why I play a lot of baby, like, quote unquote, baby games of D&D is because A, there's not many fully experienced D&D players. And that's why I tend to stray away from combat because combat is confusing. And so, um, initiative order, um, spell slots, cantrips, bonus actions, primary actions, movements, that kind of thing. It's a lot to keep track of and that's on top of regular D&D rules. It's a lot, so I tend to not give my players any combat. However, um, I also like the added effect of um, D&D being accessible to those who don't know anything about D&D. Like, I love receiving um, comments and uh, chat comments and VOD comments of people going like, Oh, well, I don't know much about D&D, but this gave me some insight. Like, I really like that. I want D&D to be more accessible because it can be very intimidating considering A, how old it is, B, how already well established it is, and see how much content there is to go through, and D, how many rules there are. And so, I consider myself the lax DM. I, I'm known to not follow rules if it's funny. And so, um, either way, I'm glad that it's accessible and it's fun for y'all. Especially for those who don't know anything about uh, D&D. Akalana, uh, thank you for the silpa! Otsuaya, tip for the amazing DM. Thank you! This is my first time watching your D&D stream, and now I feel the need to check out the previous ones. Oh, thank you, Kawane! Thank you so much! Listen, I think my all-time favorite D&D game was Exterminator Exploits. Yeah. I think so. Because it had the perfect mix of... It's more of an advanced game because there's actual combat in it. Um, but in terms of, like, baby mode games, like, baby mode D&D streams I did, the best one that has no combat that's very beginner-friendly is, I think, a child. I think it's the one with Dopio, Kyo, and uh, Millie. That one is, like, golden and very chill. <laughs> hmm. I, I already had a game of combat with, um, Vox, Fulger, um, Lila, Senpai, Mika. Um, but that was last year. Um, I might do a combat-heavy one in the future, but depends on who's able to join. Hmm. Yeah. Wedding Crashes is a lot of fun. It's roleplay central. Roleplay central. I think you can tell where I was still very, like, into hand-holding and stuff. Now I tend to handhold a lot less because I have faith in the livers being able to improv, so yeah. Prep stream for D&D? Oh! Honestly, I just write bullet points. I have like a big document. I write bullet points. I'm like, okay, so what should be the concept for today? Well, I want to do a hag concept. I want a hag to be the final boss. I usually have in my every one of my games, there's a final big event, a final main action, or a final boss. So, for Exterminate Exploits, it was Bemi. For a child, it was um, the baby going Saiyan mode. Um, Wedding Crashers, um, it was um, the event of the bride and groom arriving back at the uh, wedding venue. Um, for the first stream, what was it? Evil Lair Exploits, for the first one with Nina, Rosami, Ren, Maria. Um, it was the Master of the House returning home. Every single one of them has a some kind of finalizing event or some kind of endgame boss. And so I usually plan that first. Like, I want them to do this. And then I do the build-up. So, okay, you need to drop hints, we need to do this, we need to do some kind of minor world-building, mild, mild story-building, that kind of thing. So, that's generally my, my, my plane of thought. Uh, the fact that I write fanfic does help, though. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> also, I need to grab a snack. I'm I have chippies. Yippee. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. Hell yeah, brother. But no. I'm so glad that y'all have an interest in D&D. Because it's really one of my favorite things ever, honestly. Hmm. That's my snacky. Back off. Hmm. Why are we still in this room? Let me move over. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, there I am. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Let me hold my eye admirers. Hold on. I want to hold my, my stinky birds. Where are my birds? Mm. Eh. Sorry, I need to adjust something. Okay. Where are my birds? Where? Let me grab my stinkies. 
There we go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hello, burbs. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we'll just chat for a little bit. They won't call it for a call today. Mm. Yeah. Actually, chat. Question. What is your favorite D and D game um, from Niji Yen so far? So I think my favorite still exterminate exploits, but this one was a lot of fun. To be fair, it was seventy five percent newbies. Like I think Kunai's done one one shot. Wilson's played for a while, so he has some experience. Vance has his first time. Uh, Vivi, they all even adopted to they adapted Roll Twenty's format pretty fast. I think they had a hard time finding certain rules at the beginning, but once they hit their stride. They really figured it out really quickly. I'm really proud of them. Hmm. Vivi Court, thank you for the super. You will not receive Chippy. No. The Rat Lord Doug. Oh, yeah. Hmm, wedding crashes. Nice. What's your first D&D stream? Ah, I see. It's really fun. Yeah, the, the, the rat one was, was, was beyond stupid. <laughs> It was a lot. The yeah, Vanta did a great job. Mm. Yeah. To be fair, I don't feel the need to handhold as much because Niji Livers are so charismatic and funny that you don't really need to handhold them a lot. So that's why I stopped handholding. Even with, even with baby players like Kunai, Vivi, um, Vanta, I just kind of left them and just nudged them every now and then. Mm. Yeah. So, honestly... I really want every Niji Liver to at least try D and D at some point, because D and D, I think they get intimidated because they think it's like a, a scary, like oh, it's like we're we're doing scary like f dragon fights, like to know the mechanics, it's, it's rules, it's old. D and D is honestly a bunch of goofballs rolling dice and pretending to fight stuff. It's really not that, really not that bad. <laughs> this is RP with the boys. Mm hmm. It's a lot of fun. Exactly, exactly. It's also just like, I feel like D&D &D was one of my biggest implements of coming out of my shell as a person. Like, I started doing D&D &D, oh, years and years and years ago. But being in D&D, &D, playing with friends, is the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. Like, going after class to a friend's apartment bringing snacks, bringing a couple of beers over, playing D&D &D for six hours. To me, that's an ideal weekend. It's an ideal evening. Playing D&D &D with friends I love and I, and I have fun being around, snacking, eating good food. And as a DM, one of my favorite things is... um. So back when I was holding a long-form campaign, I did this um, thing where I'd start off every session, because we had a session every once every two weeks, Every session would begin with the characters waking up in um in either their home or in their guild. And so every time they came over, I would cook a food that them as players and their in-game characters could eat. And so like one day we'd have shepherd's pie, or one day we'd have pancakes, one day we'd have um, burger steak, um, one day we'll have steak, one day we'll have lasagna, like that kind of thing. So I love just cooking food for them. They're eating and getting warmed up, getting into character and stuff like that. That's to me, that's peak happiness. That's what I want most. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's like, I'll just be reading up my DM notes and that kind of thing while just cooking up stuff in the in the kitchen. It's a lot of fun. Have you ever done a one-on-one campaign with anyone before? D&D is not the best system for the other libraries. Ah, I've, I've thought... The thing is, one-on-one -on -one campaigns, to me at least, seem even more intimidating because now they're tasked with carrying the show. With multiple libraries... At least there's a back and forth and you can hide a little bit. If you want to be more quiet, I allow players to be more quiet. I'll occasionally pick on them and go like, oh, what are you doing? Like that kind of thing. But I like to allow members to fade in the background and hide for a little bit if they want to. And then come forward when they think they're ready. So I think an ideal party would probably be two to three if they're really shy. But in my opinion, the ideal party is four. Because I've run a game with seven players before. Absolute madness. I could not get any of them to do anything. It's, it's a lot. So, hmm. Off-clock D&D would be a lot of fun! It could be hand cam too, because we can have the maps on the table, like a physical game on the table. That'd be a lot of fun, but... Hard to organize! Hmm. Yeah, very difficult to organize, however. 
Yeah. To be fair, we were very drunk. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, but... Yeah, me personally, I came out of my shell a lot because of D&D. &D, and so I have... I really am just... So happy that my D&D &D stuff is, is accepted and uh, appreciated in Niji Ian. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dopio! Thank you for the rate. I was planning on rating you, Dopio. <laughs> I'm just talking for a few more minutes before I end stream, but thank you for rating. Thank you. The game's over. Sorry. You have to watch the VOD. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome, Scythekicks. Hi, Dopio. Hi, Pio Pio. We need to have Dopio back on. Guys, imagine a stream with Vox, Fulger, Vanta, Dopio. Imagine D&D with those four bozos. It's going to be... DM loses her fucking mind simulator. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Dopio. Hope you had a good stream. I really liked Shotgun Roulette. I hope you liked it too. It was a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Imagine a game between Dopio, Vanta, Fulger, and Vox. It's it will kill me. Things like a dream country. Dopio, I will die. The DM will actually have to suffer and die for that one. <laughs> I would actually just lie down and accept death at that point. <laughs> Just good night, everyone. Just, just a cue like the Taco Bell, do uh, like, uh, like, dong. Goodbye, world. <laughs> I would die. That's so tasking for a DM. I need to have. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I have another game scheduled for this one already. The game after that, I'll schedule with. Okay, I'll do it. Fine, fine. Listen, Dopio's my cute koha. I can't say no to Dopio, okay? If Dopio wants it, then fine. I'll prepare. I'll mentally brace myself for it. <laughs> I think if there's gonna be an ever if there's ever gonna be a time where I TPK the party, this might be the time where I TPK the party. <laughs> okay. Fine. If my if my cute Kohai Dopio asks for it, so be it. So be it. I can't deny my 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 Kohai. Alright? Damn. Damn, y'all are sneaky. Y'all are sneaky. That's manipulative. That's manipulative! What the hell? Come on, y'all. Eh. Y'all are so stinky. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, I'm also just happy because... um, I Not that I'm an authority of D&D &D or anything. I'm still... I consider myself a very... um, I'm a learning DM. I'm still learning. And plus, I break way too many rules to be a legitimate DM, to be completely honest. And... It's like, I now have a lot to learn for DMing, but I'm glad that despite the scuff, despite my obvious inexperience, despite me making shit up half the time, I'm glad that D my D&D is, is seen as a good thing here at NGE, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> I was very, I was very scared at first, because I feel like D&D &D people can sometimes be a little like, you know, like, Um, actually, Mage Hand can only hurl this much weight at once. And yes, I get it, but it'd be funny if you could hold more. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm holding an I admire in my hand. A little my little squishy. Hmm. It's squishy. It's squishy, squishy, squishy. Yeah. Hmm. And so like um and so I like to just um go to the school of making shit up and hoping for the best. So um yeah, there's a lot of rules lawyers in the D&D &D community, absolutely. Don't get me started on Pathfinder. However, however, I'm glad that despite my inexperience, despite my um, my my shortcomings as a DM, I'm glad that um, y'all seem to like it. Especially those who don't understand D&D. &D. My favorite part is like when members come to me asking to be a part of D&D. &D. That's the best part. I'm like, really? Because... D and D is intimidating. It can be scary. There's a lot of rules, lots of role play, that kind of thing. You have to trust your DM, to trust your fellow players. But multiple members have come up to me, going like, oh, "Can I join your party?" I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> of course you can. Please join me. Please, I love D and D." Yeah, I just wish I had more time to pump out more D and D content. Just because, guys, writing for D and D takes so long. On average, nine to thirteen hours, easily. And that's finding my assets, arranging OBS, confirming times with players, writing the actual script, writing the notes for the script, getting PNGs, um, drawing assets. I draw my assets and that kind of thing. Uh, it just, uh, it's a doozy. It takes so long. The, 
The work of the DM is long and tedious. But I do it because it's love. I do it out of love because I, I love D&D &D and that kind of thing. I've also been looking to revamp my um, overlay. Because uh, let me take you back to my overlay. So here's the D&D. Oh, where am I? Uh, so this is a D&D overlay, right? Um, it makes... like I think I can work around it. Because you can see the players and their character tokens. I might readjust it and change some settings. So I might be commissioning my artist once more to reorganize it. So it's a little bit more easy to look at. Although it's already pretty easy to look at, but we'll see, we'll see. I want to make sure everyone's comfortable, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we'll see. Sorry, something was stuck in my teeth, goodness me. Um, so, part of the scuff as per usual. Yeah, I'm gonna burp! Excuse me. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the game! And sidekicks who just joined, sorry you missed most of it. I'm gonna burp again. Ah, thank you. Excuse me, pardon me. Um, Vianara, thank you for the soap, but thank you, thank you. This is why you should always think, tip, gift, or DM. Listen, I'm plenty spoiled. I saw the insane amount of gift that's flying around. Y'all are absolutely crazy. Y'all are absolutely bonkers. Like, I'm constantly unlocking new memberships, um, like emote slots because Y'all are clinically insane. I admirers are the least normal bunch of the fan bases, I'll be completely honest. Extremely abnormal, kind of crazy, kind of bonkers. And so, um, thank you. Thank you for, for the super. Thank you very much, Vianara. Listen, this, this DM is already very spoiled, okay? And this DM is already very spoiled. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I had these are the best. Aww. Now that, that warms my heart, because I feel like everyone in Ian has their special something, right? Their special sauce. For me, I feel like tabletop and nerdy content is my sauce. And I'm so happy that people see me as like, oh yeah, I as a D&D person in Ian. I'm like, aww, yay! <laughs> a Karen B, thank you for the soup, but can confirm. Wow, KR, you are crazy, stop! Thank you for the gift, Mrs. Sinister. Welcome, Chewing. And it's, it just warms my heart quite a bit to know that people do like me and know me for D&D &D and stuff like that. And honestly, listeners, viewers alike, VOD watchers, live viewers, I encourage you, try D&D. &D. Try playing it, okay? Find a group that's in a similar skill level, find a patient DM, and honestly, it is so fun. It's also the cheapest hobby in the world. You know why? You don't have to be like me and spend money on dice, okay? I spend money on dice because I'm crazy. However, you can play D&D &D literally for free. Resources like Roll20 are completely free. D&D &D Beyond, completely free. Oopsies. Completely free. So much stuff is completely free and accessible. So I encourage you, try to play D&D. &D. Like, the hardest part is finding a group. Absolutely, the hardest part is finding a group. But. I encourage you to try it. It opens so... It's so much fun. It's so worth it. Uh, Vianara, thank you for the five gifts. And thank you so much. Welcome to Maze. If y'all got a gift and membership from Vianara, make sure you think them properly. Thank you, Vianara. A shit gnome. Why are you a shit gnome? What the fuck? I need to give you the constipation potion. <laughs> for those who don't know the context, I probably sounded insane just now. Thank you, shit gnome. Um, Alethea, wow! Thank you for the five gifted! If y'all got a gift and membership, I make sure from Alethea, make sure to thank them properly. Thank you, Alethea! Your name is always so pretty. Thank you! Yeah. Yeah, finding um, a group can be is easily the hardest part. Easily. Easily. There's communities on Reddit that I've met uh, because of D&D um, that have been fabulous. We're still friends to this day. So it's not impossible, but you do, you do have to put yourself out there. Not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, D&D &D brings such joy to me, so I'm glad I can share that with you guys because I, I love D&D &D so much. <laughs> yeah. But there'll be more in the future for sure, okay? Hmm. Perhaps across multiple agencies? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, Skipper, you missed the game. I'm so sorry. I can summarize it with Wish Unfulfillment, Big Potion, Arson, Rizzing Hags. Hag, hag Love, actually. And, um, and, um, constipation potions. Okay? Yeah. 
also, I'll have y'all know the alternative name for the stream was Hag Love. But I think that gave away the final boss too easily, so I chose Hot Single Maidens in your area. <laughs> All of all of my D and D titles for the like for the uh, games, I try not to give away what it's about. But I think Hag Love would easily give it away. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let's do Hot Maidens in your area instead. Hot Maidens in your area. <laughs> I might change the title later, but I kind of like Hot Single Maidens. I think it's funny considering the porn bots on Twitter these days. Hmm. Yeah. Were there fireballs? Yes, there was. At the very end, there's a fireball. <laughs> no, the titles do have me. The titles summarize and like, you know, make notes of the um the game ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is another um good one for the books. I'm super happy with how the game turned out. I'm very happy with the players and the performances. So hag and bio. Constipation potion and bio, baby. Constipation and bio. Oh my gosh. Why are we like this? Why are we why the fuck are we like this? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a night then. Uh, my jaw hurts from talking and smiling. DD wears me out. Um I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll likely be streaming. Uh, Moon Valky, welcome to the main ship. Happy to have you. Thank you for joining. Um, thank you for joining everyone. I'll see you guys around. And um, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the support. Thank you for turning out to see me. Yeah. May your rolls be high and your bitches many. <laughs> Good luck timestampers. I know D&D &D games are hard to timestamp. There's a lot going on. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you like today's game. And um, there's more where that came from. Trust me. There's more games up ruin. Okay. Hmm. All right, thank you for tuning in, everyone. Oh, before we go, we forgot the positivity thing. Wait, guys. So, for those who are new to the channel, every time I end stream, I ask chat to express one positive thing that happened to them very recently. So, for me, playing D and D with my friends. That was fun. That was my positive for today. I also had a very tasty lunch. I had some. Um, I had some salmon. I had a salmon bowl. Uh, with rice, tamagoyaki, edamame, and ikura. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Anything good happen to y'all before we go? Anything good happen? Some other five. I slept a lot. Too. I slept six hours last night. Sleeping good. Lemon, lemon blueberry blood, bread. That sounds yummy. Lemon blueberry bed, bread. Frozen pasta. I can't say I'm different. Barbecue. Nice. Oh, sales at the grocery store? Oh, you bet your ass. I buy from the sales section all the time. The expiration dates are just suggestions, okay? Sunday will be in my... Oh, that's nice. Going outside. A friend's birthday. Nice. Some commissions. Baked carrot cake. A yummy lunch. Best salad. Oh, nice. I love me a cob salad. Oh, Vivi, thank you for the silpa. I got a special machine. Oh, it's your birthday? Happy birthday, Vivi Core. Happy birthday. Hope y'all get an espresso machine. Oh, Minsky's birthday too. Nice. Did some art, nice. Oh, topoki, sounds good. Had a great time over the weekend. Awesome, awesome ramen, good. Oh, a job offer. Congrats, Blazin. Congrats. Chill, highlight is the stream. Ah, oh, nice. Totino's hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Your stream, thank you. Baked a coffee with the. Oh, that sounds yummy. Oh, the upcoming 3Ds. I'm so excited. You're sketching, nice. Lots of positive kitchen quesadillas. Honestly, I love seeing just simple happy things like you know. A good meal, a fun stream, a good good weather today. You know, I love to see it. Hmm. Very very good, very very good. So I'll wrap it up for today. Is there anyone streaming who we can raid? Let's see. Raid Shadow Legends. Let's see anyone we can raid. Need a team. I want a shadow. Wanna shadow here. Oh, we can raid um Vanta. Okay, Vanta's right here. Ooh, sorry, that was the sound of my package. Uh, let me go ahead and raid Vanta then. He did such a good job of streaming today with the D and D. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and raid Vanta then. Tell him that he did a good job with D and D. Let him know he did fantastic. Okay, he deserves to know. Okay, awesome.
Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you guys later, okay? <gasps> bye, Clippy. Bye, Teresa. Bye, Donnie. Bye, Karen. Bye, bye, bye Chat Bye, 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 Bear. Bye, Jill. Bye, Starless. Bye, Lumina. Bye, bye, Andrew. Bye, Chip. Bye, Buddy Wizard. Bye, Love. Did land. Bye, Come and Come. Bye, Sub Dude. Bye, Cut Chat Bye, Bye, Ola. Bye, Bye, My Angel Cat. Bye, Chip. Bye, Lumina. Bye, Bye, Karen. Bye, Just Cause. Bye, Brando. Bye, Ashley. Bye, Little Ghost. Bye, Donnie. Bye, Night. Bye, Kira Scream. Bye, Nolan. Bye, Jay. Bye, Kay. Bye, Josh. Bye, Sadika. Bye, Sakura. Bye, Red Nine Volt. Bye, Buddy. Buddy Wizard. Bye, Vinara. Bye, Sylvan. Bye, uh, Shinju. Bye, Poison Yoshi. Bye, Dodge. Bye, Chewing. Bye, Ren. Bye, Kunison. Bye, Pi. Bye, Minsky. Bye, Novos. Bye, Aryong. Bye, Yozora. Bye, Grisa. Bye, Starless. Bye, Smuggle. Bye, Ola. Bye, Sweet Rose. Bye, Minsky. Bye, Audrey. Bye, Mr. Sinister. Bye, Scoot Girls. Bye, Common Kuma. Bye, Shield. Bye, Kirumi. Bye, Lan Mao. God. Bye, Cake, please. Bye, Step Bro. Bye, Kit Claire. Bye, Pedro. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye, Kisa. Bye, Blaze. Shaggy Shigo. Bye, Magai. Bye, Teresa. Bye, Nineville. Bye, Lama Angel Cat. Bye, Heaven. Bye, Inferno. Bye, Random. Bye, Nalco. Bye, Kill. Bye, 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 Bye. May your rolls be high and your bitches plenty. Shut the fuck up, Satsuki. Thank you for the super bitch.